And yo, what is up, everybody? We are back with another stream. Hope all are you are doing well. Uh, a lot of good questions here. Uh, if you guys have been here before, you guys know how it works. Make sure to hit the like button. Uh, the last couple of streams I've hit, hit like 40, 50 plus likes. So I really appreciate that. That's why uh, there is definitely more eyeballs on these streams, which means more interactive streams in the future. Uh, so make sure to hit the like button. And if, of course, if you're new, hit the sub button as well. Uh, but there are plenty of questions to discuss here today. Uh, we appreciate all the questions. If you want in-depth questions, we always say ask, at the, ask after the stream in the comment section below. You can ask in my Discord, join that if you want to hear, uh, want us to answer questions from there. Um, so it's just so you guys are aware of that. Um, but yeah, we appreciate all the support. Uh, one, one stream actually hit 10K. That's insane. So W go. to you guys for that. That's crazy. Most importantly, you can win a million dollars if you hit a like on that. On that <laughs> Quick daily. Sir, Sir Goat is in here. What's going like on, lotto, Sir Goat? You know, it's just like the lotto. Thanks for coming in, <laughs> Sir Goats. All right, so... I know some of you guys have, uh, want to hear my thoughts on the newest chapter of Boruto, uh, which I'll give before we begin. So if you guys have any questions, start dropping them now. We'll answer it after. So chapter 78. Um, it was interesting. A lot of action. Yeah. Um, um, my bad. I didn't mean to interrupt you. I'll be right back since you're discussing that. Give me like a couple minutes. Okay. So this chapter is definitely eventful. Um, there, is just, there is a lot of action, more action than we've seen in a long time in the manga. Um, so my thoughts on it was... The skirmish between Boruto and Kawaki uh, allowed me to imply some arbitrary level of rel relativity, with Kawaki even stating that he's unable to seal Boruto away the way he sealed Naruto and Hinata. Um, then both reacted to each other's attacks with some success, and also both of them tanking each other's attacks to some arbitrary extent. So we can establish some arbitrary level of relativity between the two, um, which makes sense narratively speaking. They seem to have this Naruto-Sasuke dichotomy going on, uh, rightfully so. Um, so... We can come to several different conclusions, I'll be fair, based off Kawaki's statement saying he's unable to seal Boruto. You could say, well, maybe he's just too fast, he can't seal him. But to me, the more rational conclusion to that uh, to that statement would be, with his karma, he's more than likely immune to being sealed that easily. And he could deter it, or he's just blatantly immune to being sealed. And he's basically immune to Kawaki's Daikokuten, is what, she, is what he calls it specifically. Um, and that's what he used to send Naruto and he not away to essentially a dimension where time is frozen. Uh, you do not starve, you do not age. Um, it's actually a very interesting ability um, that Kawaki went into depth on in that chapter. Uh, but overall, the chapter was definitely eventful, uh, at least in comparison to the others. I think that Boruto and Kawaki are definitely headed down a trajectory where they will really fight, possibly even to near death. Um, I do think that's going to happen, and this is basically, I would say, the catalyst for... The time skip that we see at the beginning of Boruto, but um, overall decent chapter, and I hope that they can continue this. So, what's going on uh, in Morgu? What's going on, Xavier and Legend? Thanks for all coming in. Momoshiki is the primary reason why I want to still look at the Boruto series. Yeah, Momoshiki had some interesting actions uh, in that chapter. He helped Kawaki escape um, when everyone was trying to sustain him and incapacitate him after uh, mm -hmm. giving. Boruto his scar when he was trying to kill uh, Sarada. So Momoshiki definitely has some ulterior motive that you can't quite triangulate just yet. It's kind of strange. Um, why would he help Kawaki? Kawaki hates the Otsuki and wants to exterminate them. So why would he help him? That's very bizarre to me. He definitely has some ulterior motive. Um, also, another thing that you, I, I was able to extrapolate, though I can't say definitively, it's theoretical, is the fact that every time Boruto is, I would say, severely injured to some degree, Momoshiki is able to manifest himself. Um, after he got that scar from Kawaki, we saw Momoshiki take over for a second, and that's why he helped Kawaki mm. escape. Uh, it's kind of bizarre. It allows you to imply some things, possibly that what Momoshiki meant in previous chapters when he said the time that your time is coming. Maybe maybe he was implying that the more damage Boruto takes, the more that Momoshiki will have control. Um, there's no way to prove that. Exactly. But, yeah. Yeah, but I think that's definitely it's a good theory. Yeah. It seems that uh, Momoshiki may try to be an ally for Kawaki to simply, uh, you know, gain his level of progression towards a new pace and then therefore weaken Boruto to a level where he can uh, manifest himself because he's in a weakened shape to begin with. So that may be his ulterior motive right there. Yep. But uh, it definitely seems that um, Kishimoto is definitely uh, helping the storyline go a lot 
you know, I'm more in favor for people who've been waiting this whole time. So I'm yeah. glad he's taking the reins and, you know, up and up the action, if you will. So shout yeah. out to East Moto, man. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. He's definitely um, picked up the slack since he's uh, began to, since he began to be involved in the writing process, I'd say. Um, there's been some lackluster chapters probably because of time constraints and other things, but um, yeah, he's definitely improved it uh, for sure. Um, also, Sarada is still not relevant whatsoever. She got uh, nearly killed, and Borto had to save her. So we're still mm. dealing with that. She's nowhere near relative to either one of those guys. She's completely useless, um, unfortunately, as far as power at least. But I do hope to see her maybe close the gap, maybe with her getting an MS or something like that. Um, maybe her father gives yeah, up his eye. Who knows? But um, I do hope she's more relevant. Uh, we don't want a Sakura 2.0. Exactly. That's exactly what we don't want. And she's already much more likable than Sakura was. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, yeah, way more. Um, if anything, Ida is Sakura 2.0, unfortunately. So. Facts. Yeah, it's facts, though. Uh, I know this might be a dumb question, but if you infuse more your jutsu with more chakra, does it make the jutsu stronger? Mm, I would say it probably depends on the specific ability. Um, I don't think using more chakra to spam Am Amaterasu increases its AP. I think it might increase the radius of the effect, but it doesn't increase the AP necessarily. Now, if you're Good talking point. about maybe, let's say, a ninjutsu such as the Almighty Push, then I would say more chakra infusion would result in a larger radius of a um, Almighty Push. So I think it depends from my perspective. On, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I will say definitely is contingent upon the jutsu that you're trying to amplify in the first place, but I think it's also important to um, understand that the person at hand who is infusing more chakra needs to be able to control it and exactly. stabilize it to maximize its efficiency in the first place. So yep. just because yep. you have more chakra, that's cool and all, but if you can't control it in a professional way, then you're not going to you know maximize its its efforts to begin with. So yeah, exactly. So There's that chakra I definitely agree. control. Yeah, someone asked, uh, <laughs> do you think that infusing more chakra in your jutsu it makes it stronger? Um, yes. Yeah. Well, mm, well it, yes and no. Once again, it's it's like what they were saying. Uh, guys, it's like you have to have good chakra control. There's many that, aspects that's important. with it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, for instance, you know what I mean? Like if you just like for for like Naruto, like you know he has like the most chakra out of anybody, but like while he's a kid, he's still working on the aspects of chakra control, etc. So whenever he's doing jutsu or whatever, you name it, like doesn't mean necessarily it's gonna be like, you know, to the maxed output or whatever. Yeah. Things like that. Like for like if Kakashi did a rising gun and he did a rising gun, my money would be on Kakashi. Even though he has more chakra but it's because Kakashi right. has like way more chakra control. That's kind of why like Minato he can do like bigger rising guns, which obviously yeah. the bigger it is, the more chakra. And, Same thing for Jiraiya. Yeah. You know, so we also said that it depends on the ability. Like something like Amaterasu. Sure. I don't think the AP increases if you use more chakra. It simply just spreads no, it no, more. No, no, yeah. So yeah, yeah, I think there's many. It's definitely a multivariate equation. The chakra control, the chakra infusion, the ability used in question, all those things matter. I would say for sure. Um, absolutely exactly. what's good Jay how you been thanks for coming in uh, Prodigy doing well hope you're doing well as well um, but we should we shall begin questions folks uh, obviously super chat questions will stop us on our tracks we'll answer them right away if you're a member um, we'll answer them right away as well um, also if you're a member you see uh, more exclusive content where I dissect uh, more debates and things of that nature I know you guys enjoy that so think about that if you want to see more of that um, so the first question sure. here is actually really interesting we've discussed this in the past but we'll bring it back, back up um, if Obito sucked one of the paths of pain into the Kamui dimension, would that stop the path from functioning? So I'll give my take first, and then if you guys want after. Um, so I would deduce oh. that a path of pain would not function because we observed uh, that when a shinobi goes to a different dimension, they are no longer detectable by even sensory ninjas from which we can extrapolate that any link and or presence of such a chakra vanquishes in an entirely different dimension. People do bring up the uh, Jiraiya Toad Genjutsu, but I did try to do my homework on the data books. There wasn't, to me at least, unless I missed something, there's nothing really implied that it's a different dimension um, entirely. So the fact that the paths were still able to be used could possibly be explained by the fact that it really wasn't an entirely different dimension uh, from my perspective, based off what I've seen in the data books. So. Hence, if a path of pain were to be sent to a different dimension in any such said uh, altercation, that ta that intangible chakra link that we think of that he has with these passive pains, I would say, would cease to exist and would break, and the path of pain would no longer be functional. It would be like a Neto Tensei 
uh, going out of commission, essentially. That's what I would say about that. If you guys want to give your takes on that. Yeah, like, uh, you basically said it the best way you possibly can, Jay. It just, it just boils down to whether if you think it functions or not. Um, you know, if it, obviously, if you analyze everything and see and you come to the conclusion that it just can't function, that's it. It's fucked. You know what I mean? It's yep. basically a, a win-con scenario and it just can't be controlled. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, what's it called? I would have to go back. You know, I could be tripping. Cause I, I do believe I was saying this, like, last stream or whatever that with the whole Jiraiya stuff that it's like a ceiling uh, ceiling thing. It's very similar to like the Conway ceiling dimension, blah, blah. Like there is like some data books something. I don't know. And then I saw some people posting on discord to like, uh, to kind of give me a little bit more reassurance with that notion. But for all I know, I could be tripping. I don't remember exactly. I don't have like a God tier memory either. Yeah. But regardless, that's, that's the only way you could even remotely say it's possible right. for yeah, the yeah. path of pain to even sure. work or function. Um, we know what it works in Jiraiya's toad thing, dimension thing, you know, where that path is still kicking, you know, he, he gets dropped in a fucking acid pool, um, you know, gets hit by a rising gun, and he's still just fucking dry up, you know, so, yep. um, and they were nowhere in, like, even pain, I have to go back, I don't know if this is either anime or manga difference, or if it's in both, whatever, but... I do remember like pain, like touching or like the water, or, like wondering like where the fuck are they? And he's like, I can't detect or you know, I don't know. But either way, guys, like I said, it just it comes down to those two concepts, whether yeah. if it can function or not. Yeah, um, definitely. You know what I mean, things like that, and that's all it really is. And bottom line is, even if that is a thing, let's say all the dry stuff is legit, we can somehow formulate that it's similar to Conway and all that, etc. The only thing we can't still concretely prove is if it even still works the same like Conway too, because all because something can have the same terminology, you know, or like same dimension or whatever. Yeah, sure, like you know, maybe possibility could operate the same, whatever. But it's technically not the same dimension though, because it's absolutely it's a dimension, right. While what Dry is using is a frog dimension. You know, I understand it can have same parallels or the same terminology or phrasing. You know, I get I get what you're saying. I agree with that, you know, in certain aspects, too. But what you guys got to understand is, you know, what I mean, we just we still don't know. Like, that's right. still an uncertainty that we just don't know. Unfortunately. Yeah, I agree. Um, and, you know, it's that's just it is what it is. Like, you got to at least be open minded to those perspectives overall. You can't just be, oh, let's say if, if you know, that is the case and it's the same words and it is dimension, blah, blah, et cetera. And it was operating. It has to work it and be the same. And yeah. just don't know. Definitely so, contentious. Cause you know I mean, yeah, it's, it's still contentious guys. You know, it, obviously that can help, you know, in like a debate setting or maybe if you're doing a video or something and, you know, just kind of like possibility wise, yeah, yeah, you know, sure. to where, you know, great. But once again, we still don't definitively would ever know. Yeah, so. for sure. Yeah. So I, I don't... same thing like Minato, same thing like Minato with the fly yards. And do you really think that would work too? Right. You know I mean, it's like we, one. we could say it can, we can say it doesn't, whatever, blah, 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 all day, every day. But to definitively be like, oh, yeah, it has to, you know what? We, yeah. we just won't know. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know? Sir Geets with 20 bucks. Once again, the goat is back. Oh, shit. Appreciate that, brother. If you guys want to answer his question uh, before I do, uh, you guys can answer. I think he said, I think he said Sage Kabuto versus Obito. I think that's what he meant. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said, uh, I'm assuming White Mask. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what he means. Yeah. Um, yeah, we could definitely tackle that. What were you saying, Shinobi? I didn't mean to, to cut you off, though, my bad brother. Uh, we should just answer Jeets' question first, and then I'll get on that. Yeah, yeah. Just no out problem. of respect, definitely. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, you guys can answer. I'm just going to put his uh, goaded uh, uh, donation on the screen real quick. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Appreciate that, Sir Jeets. Uh, so Sage Mokabuto versus White Mass Obito. It's definitely a, a very interesting one that's discussed throughout the fandom, rightfully so. Um, the best ways to con compare their performances, I would say, compare the parameters established, I would say, to come to the best conclusion. So what we do know is that Sage Mokabuto faced Itachi holding back, and you could even argue Sasuke holding back. Um, Kabuto as well was holding back. Uh, he didn't want to just eliminate Sasuke. He had some sort of interest for him. It was at least implied. Um, so you could argue he was holding back to some arbitrary extent. I would argue he wasn't holding back against Itachi, though. He has no reason to. Can't not like he can kill him anyway. Yeah, no. He says he says he's literally gonna change the fucking tag in his yeah. head and make him not, and then win. And now yeah, we have White Mask Obito up. facing Kasim to Naruto, Kakashi, and my guy with the seventh or sixth gate, depending on the, whether you consider manga or a anime. Um, yeah. To me, it, they are comparable. Um, I just think that Kasim two is above, at least in speed, uh, EMS Sasuke and Odio Itachi, uh, at least at this point oh, of the yeah. narrative. So I would deduce at bare minimum that White Mass Obito is faster than Sage Mokabuto. Um, 
that way I would say somewhat safely. Um, so I think if they were to have a skirmish, uh, he would best him at least in terms of speed. And would also what would also reinforce this notion is the fact that he did, he wasn't fearful of him whatsoever until he saw Madra's uh, reincarnated body, body. That's when he was like, okay, I'm gonna have to work with this guy. I got no choice. Um, yeah. Madra is a, around. I can't simply just take this guy out. Um, so I, that that would also reinforce the notion to me that he doesn't see Sage Mokabuto as a threat to the point where he's is concerned by it. He wasn't very concerned until, again, he saw Madara, um in the casket. So I would say most likely White Mass Obito takes it. And especially if he doesn't have those uh, Jinchurikis tying him down, um, he would probably use Renegon abilities as well. So that's what I would say. If he yeah, yeah so um, I, I definitely agree that since just based off of, like, you know, tangible scaling that KCM2 would definitely uh, scale above. Uh, Edo Itachi, he was quite relative to Sage Kabuto. Um, we know that Edo, Edo Itachi is above KCM1 to some yeah. arbitrary extent, and even um, Emes Sasuke with reactionary speed at the very least. But to uh, what extent, we can't really uh, concretely say. Yeah, so exactly. I, I will say that um, Obito would have not only the tangible speed to maneuver or even attack him if need be, he also has calmly to... You know, uh, become intangible. Uh, oh, yeah, that'd be a on, big problem. A big problem. On Kabuto's attack. Yeah. Uh, but Obito, the thing is, he would probably have to seal uh, Kabuto in the Kamui dimension just right. because he does have insane regeneration. That'd be a problem, yeah. So, and he's not really like known for, you know, high AP attacks. Like yeah, the, I agree. Like Sengon or yeah. etc. So I think that would be his win con. And he does have the adequate speed to do so. I think that that would be the way the battle would go out, yeah. honestly. But, yeah. Oh shit, Jared right, yeah. with 10 bucks. I appreciate that, brother. Right. Again, being yeah, a goat. Yeah. But yeah, uh, Batman, you can go called? ahead. You can answer that first. Yeah. No, yeah, no, you're fine, brother. What's it called? If you had a question, we can hit that first. You guys want to, too. Because those are the prior rotation, by the way. So yeah. anybody that donates whatever, we, we love you and we're there. For oh, yeah, we time. appreciate that. Um, um, yeah. What's it called? Man. But uh, yeah, if you didn't have a question, though, uh, the only thing I'll say on that, I think you guys did really good uh, analyzing that in a nutshell. What, what, what I'm going to say with this guy is you guys got to, like, understand, Kabuto, he's strong. Like, he's really, really powerful. I'm yeah. not going to deny that. He has so much hacks. He has this and that, whatever. Um, But, like, this is the thing. Like, technically, you know, when we're talking about Obito, because this is the real question, like, are we granting Obito the tail beast or he's not? Because technically when Obito has the tail beast, he's nerfed. Yep. Like, he's not even at full power. You know what I mean? So Definitely. if we're talking about a full power Obito... I don't know, man. Like, I, I think Obito's kind of just going in and and just either, you know, comboing him or or it's either Kabuto's still going to have, like, uh, you know, enough reaction time, bare minimum, kind of similar to, like, Itachi um, or Sasuke or Madara and Obito because all of them have reaction feats against KCM2 Naruto. Like, they're not traveling as fast. Right. Like, there's moments where, like, Obito's kind of traveling and going forward and whatnot, but um, whenever Naruto does, like, his main speed shit, I don't know if you guys remember, but, like, and normally do like a bolt of lightning in a way. I mean, that's when he's like going at like full fucking body flicker teleportation yeah. speed. Yeah, I, don't yeah, think yeah. He's, I don't think he's doing that at like at all fucking times when he's moving. Sure. Um, what's it called? But either way, like, you know, for the most part, all of them have reaction feats, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and it's, it feels safe to say, you know, moderate and Obito could be on that level similarly as well. But what I will say, guys, is when it comes to, to Obito, like, Throughout that whole time, while he's even fighting against that team, and then eventually KCM one art, and then KCM two, like he's not even at full power, bro. Agreed. Like yeah. this man still just just giving them a run for their money. You know his Kamui can still activate perfectly on time, which is impressive, because we know Minato's like flying Raijin when he was the yellow mask Obito, like a kid. Like that was enough, like you know, fast enough to just kind of tag him, um, and things like yeah. that. So the fact that like Naruto can't even do like a similar feat remotely to where he's like. You know, teleport because we know he can teleport. We've seen it. Yeah. When he got really pissed with Madara and Obito, and they like threw both attacks to kill everybody, he goes like full speed and says, "You guys like, you know, make me sick or whatever." And he teleports and stops both their attacks and shit. You know what I mean? So, yeah. like, you have that. You know what I mean? So, like, when it comes to the scaling side of things, I do strongly feel like that's just still in Obito's favor. I agree. You know yeah. I mean? Especially if he's nerfed, or especially be that full fucking power. Oh yeah. Um, oh yeah. You know, but let's say if you want to give Kabuto the benefit of the doubt and say they're still in a similar ballpark or, you know, go along with certain other things. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I still feel like even if you get Kabuto reaction, whatever, that Obito, like, like if he does like a Shiro Tensei, you know what I mean? Like, 
wouldn't that just like negate anything he fucking does yeah pretty much takes the data books, et cetera. <laughs> yeah. like like you know what i mean so you have that too like i feel like there's just so much in favor for obito because now he has way more hacks he has the Renegania, you know, all this stuff you name it um it, it's just he's just more of a threat in, in my opinion in comparison even to Kamui. you know what i mean yeah and i do know like the Renegon can take a toll chakra wise and he even says like oh you know the spam whatever because it can you know be kind of you know um, bad in a way or whatever because of stamina or chakra reserves yeah but really. one thing you guys gotta understand it's still technically beneficial compared to orange mask obito because orange mask obito's main thing is just calmly that's all you know he has, it's just yeah. calmly or wood style you know or genji shit you know what i mean or fireball whatever things like that yeah so While with white mask this motherfucker can do all running on abilities now okay yep. he can do calmly wood style like he just has such a bigger you know arsenal to where it's like he's just more of a threat in many many ways and so even if Kabuto does like a hax or this or whatever Rinnegan should just be able to deal with it that's it like Madara states several times Rinnegan can deal with all Jutsu you know we see Nagato use his abilities and it just shuts everything down like so I, I just I don't really see well, any way for Kabuto to come down but you know what were you saying to him? No go ahead but I don't want to interrupt you just wanted to add on to that when you're done yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, what's it called? So, like, this basically, in, in you know, a, a fucking small way to say, it, I guess, is, you know, when it comes to to Obito, he just has way more in comparison. Um, scaling would be even still in his favor too. If you really think about it, um, the only big thing uh, Kabuto could really have is like, you know, if he uses Madara in this fight, I guess, you know, like as an Edo. That's mm -hmm. another thing. Like, I don't oh know yeah, if we're right, right. Edos and shit either, but. Um, but if it's just like them, if it's just Kabuto with his Sage One abilities and all that, you name it, I just, I, I, I just don't see him winning that yeah, at all. If he had just... those, like, like the whole Akatsuki, um, or maybe even Madara, then maybe Kabuto has a chance, you know, the pressure or whatever, but, you know. Yeah. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, just empirically, and I would also say rationally, it's in Obito's favor by quite a yeah. substantial degree. Um, you don't have to give Sage Mode Kabuto a lot of, a lot of benefits of the doubts to even make it more contentious just their interactions alone prove who's superior i mean even kabuto said yeah i can't handle this guy he says it himself um like like i'll be honest like orange mask obito like i'm, I'm gonna be fair like that man saw the entire Kotsky and he just still just goes yeah not even that him. was like, too like, problematic to him you. yeah it wasn't until <laughs> me now. oh shit alexa yeah, is back go. again flexing oh, her bag yeah. once again <laughs> <laughs> big bag I man. Say that bad, man um i i completely agree though bro i was gonna say if like if we do give obito his full extent of his capabilities and i think it'd be fair to do that with kabuto as well and therefore give him meadows oh and, yeah yeah, um, yeah yeah and even like even someone like hashirama guys i mean like, we know he has his cells on lock so i mean yeah. it wouldn't it wouldn't be like you know unquestionable hey. or fetched to say but imagine yeah. if he did have all those edos like oh, i don't man. know if obito has that much uh chakra to seal all of them It'd be a problem um, uh -huh. and and you know someone like hashram could deal with the bijus too so i mean like it's it's if you it, give them both really their full powers yeah, yeah th that's all i want to say yeah. like what what i will say like like what I, cause what I was tagging with that with jay you know like it's it's extremely impressive that obito even went to still fight because he says oh you think this shit scares me i'm just gonna kill you and he goes to charge then Kabo right. reacts and does like you know reanimation he's like no you cannot defy me he sees Madara, he's like, oh, fuck, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, whatever. Now there's a so, threat. Like, you can, yeah. yeah, like, you can say at that point, you know, like, that, you know, what's it called? That, like, he thinks he could still be able to have a really good fight with Kabuto. So I'm going to be honest. I don't think Obito's just slamming. No, nah, he's um, not just slamming that Kabuto him. And, no. all the, and all those Akatsuki. No, definitely and, like, not. That's going to definitely be a, be a really problem. tough fucking battle. Yeah. Like, if anything, like, you know what I mean? Like, it, 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 Obito might lose, maybe. I don't know. Like, that's a really hard fucking battle. Um, yeah. But the moment he whipped out moderate, there's just there's just no way. Yeah, I mean, like, so... there's just no like if especially if he has him like suppressed. I mean, because this is the real question too. Like if Kabuto brings back moderate the way he did in the war arc, where he has full you know awareness of his knowledge and he's at like close to his original power as well. Okay, then technically in character. Madara wouldn't fight for Kabuto. He'd be like, yeah, he wouldn't uh, even fight. No, him. Obito's my yeah, he's my comrade or whatever. Like, what are you doing? And then Kabuto would just have to obey and be a bitch yeah. to the Madara would just, just die. He would do what he did in the original storyline. He'd just break out. Break out of the Edo Tensei control. That's what he did. So. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. That, that too, yeah. If Hashirama could do it, I don't see why Madara could. See, that, yeah. that's, that's insane. You know I mean, like, even even if Kabuto was smart to suppress Madara and use him as a tool, like, basically as, like, a mindless whatever, you know what I mean? This way he's not having to deal with his personality, whatever, that he brought in the war. 
I do, yeah, like I do agree with that with Jay too. Where like he probably just like just you know overpower like what Hashirama yeah. does, or Rochimaru even states that he can't you know control him, whatever yada yada. And we know yeah. that Madara is similar to Hashirama. You know what I mean? So like therefore, like he would just get out to do a similar feat, and he'd be like, "What the fuck's going on?" And Obito would be like, "Oh yeah, he's a traitor, blah blah." You know, he's trying to use you to kill me, and then Madara would be like, "Oh really? All right, bet. Well, let's kill him." Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So it's yeah, a missing yeah, character that just. Dis- that doesn't help at all. It, but if yeah. we ignore those character, you know, traits, and then we just say like maybe bloodlusted, then sure you can maybe give it to you know you can give it a Kabuto because it's moderate at that point and whatnot. But yeah, but or give them a different tag altogether, like a specialized tag to you know remove all like personal yeah. uh, will. Mm-hmm. That's what that was like but, special Shinobi in general because he knows they'll probably break out of it. He's smart. Yeah, the, it's, but... it was established several times that if you try to control a Shinobi greater than yourself, they break out. Hashirama yeah. did it, or he could have done it. That's, that's why Rochimaru um, did it. Madara did it. And in the beginning, yeah, yeah. Madara exactly. did it. He broke the contract yeah. when he was fighting the five Kaga. He broke out of his control as well. So, um, so that is that is true. Yeah, uh, when he was going away and he said, "Nah, fuck this," and he just yeah. yeah. But just, shout out to yeah. Shinobi himself for resubscribing as a member. Appreciate that. Is there? Um, well, let's see what Sir G said in his others. Uh, the reason I asked that was because I was thinking about War Kakashi versus Edo Itachi. And I was like, I guess it depends on who would win between Sage Kabuto versus White Mask Obito. Um, the greatest threat that Obito faced, though, was KCM2 Naruto, not Kakashi. I actually think that yeah. Kakashi would fall to Edo Itachi. First of all, he wouldn't be able to seal him. Um, second of all, unless we presuppose yeah, that his Sharingan allowed him to learn a sealing jutsu, maybe. Um, but I just one. Yeah. yeah, I think. It, I, but as far as caliber, I think Edo Itachi is still above him. Um, above War Kakashi. Obviously, DMS, no. But um, War Kakashi is a good chance that Edo Itachi might be a scale above him. So. And when Naruto, I don't know if you guys agree with this too, but it's Naruto's a little bit more different when it comes to his forms because I would arguably say that Naruto is technically at full power when he goes KCM2 um, because the way that works is like Kuruma has to amass a big fucking amount of chakra. Yep. And yeah. once it's ready, he releases it, and then Naruto can transform. It's like, yeah. So whenever he goes to KCM2, it's not like it's a half-assed KCM2 or, like, or he just got KCM2 and he's, like, you know, going all out or whatever, and now you could say he's a fatigued or not full-power yeah. KCM2. Essentially, like whenever he goes into it, he's at full-power. Yeah, essentially know? what happens is chakra, uh, Kurama is infusing more chakra into his network at a higher degree with more chakra. Yeah. That's basically so that's, what he and does. And that's is. more impressive for Obito and Madara yeah, and you name exactly. it, because, like, motherfucker's going full power kcm2 he does it like twice yeah during that beginning yeah. of like when everything goes down and obito can still react to the wood style that moderate can react yep. as well and mind you there's even a point where uh in my opinion naruto had a mental amp to a degree like bloodlusted where he's like he's screaming at moderate he's like dead people should remain dead or something like that and then he yeah he goes to him yeah with, like, so kimi bomb uh rising gun and moderate just blocks that shit you know? yeah so let's see uh, I've been I also seeing just a lot. want to say. Oh yeah, go ahead. Like, oh. I think this, the speed. I don't think the gap would be like gargantuan. Like no, if you want to give no. like War Kakashi with a uh, you know nine tails gap, obviously, um, he was going off against the V two in Turkey and they're relative to you know, uh, KSM one to some degree. And Eddie Vitachi yeah. is not only above that in combat speed as we saw uh, with Naruto, um, but he's also above uh, Sasuke um, in reactionary speed with Sage Kabuto as well. Yep. So. Mm-hmm. Um, even if we presuppose that Kakashi, you know, he had like a thousand jutsu, he was like Minato's like uh, prodigy, so they're, they're, he has to have some sealing jutsu. Yeah, right? he so most. I wouldn't be like, surprised if he does. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. But the, the thing is, I don't think he has the gonna... speed to even catch up to Itachi. Yeah. I agree and with that. Itachi, I think that's the case. Yeah, we know that Sharingan again jutsu can work on someone else's again uh, Sharingan. So yep. I mean, he can utilize that. I mean, he has the speed. I mean, he has sealing jutsu, of course. I mean. And pretty much infinite chakra. Yeah. So you talk yeah. To you, one one uh... thing I will say with the whole Kakashi thing, though, because mind you, he's my favorite character, but I, you know, I like to make sure like we're really dissecting shit too. Mm-hmm. Um, when he does like that that Rikery thing and like cuts them apart and whatnot, which is impressive because like Orochimaru sword couldn't get through or anything, and that was like four tails, nine tails, V two mm-hmm. armor. Um, but like I believe he does it only to like what it was three tails and four tails V two. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, to who he was like cutting through and whatnot, which. It's still impressive because it's a V two armor cloak. But I'm just saying, like, it's not like it's Killer Bees V two or yeah, the clearly Nine inferior. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. have to understand those things that too. And then yeah. not only that, he also had guys help as well. Because if if Kakashi's there by himself fighting all those V two, I'm gonna be real. I don't think he's fucking winning that. You know what I mean? Like, 
Like, I don't know. Like, that's just going to be really rough yeah. for him. And he had cubic chakra, too, right? Um, to help him even see. more. He didn't, no, he didn't have cubic chakra at that point. It was just oh, okay. chakra. Yeah. See, so someone said... He was finally getting sick because he just finished fighting Zabuza and Haku. Yeah. Okay. I've been so, seeing a lot yeah. of Naruto hate lately. Uh, people saying Naruto has many plot holes. Yeah, that's not true. No good villains. That's definitely not true. Uh, bad storytelling. Yeah, yeah th there's always going to be haters on that. Any <laughs> any anime, there's always going to exist some haters. It's inevitable. Oh, yeah, true to true. Yeah, people yeah. need to relax. Right. Yeah, they take um, the see, uh, at first I was going to yeah. ask Ian and Sasuke for his wife, Master Obito, but you guys already answered that. Yeah, Sa Sasuke would lose. Oh, yeah, yeah, that feeling. Um, like, the only Sasuke I could see, like... Oh, wait, no, against Obito? Oh, I thought you were talking about Kavito, so never mind, never yeah. mind. Yeah, no, Sasuke loses, bro. Yeah, um, but to carry on with the questions, again, thanks for all the donations. We'll carry on to the next one. Um... Haku versus Hidon. This is interesting. So, I have an interesting take um, on this. So, my take would be, we all know what makes this interesting in the first place is the notion that Haku's light speed, which a lot in the, a lot of individuals in the fandom tend to believe. But more specifically, the data books specify that he is this speed specifically moving in between his mirrors, not necessarily uh, exiting them to attack you. He would be slower in that case. Within his mirrors, it is hard to perceive him because he's moving at light speed. Yes, that is true. But like I said, however, his attacks when exiting his mirrors to attack are not light speed, which is evident by Sasuke successfully reacting to Haku many times before sacrificing himself to protect an injured Naruto. He was successfully reacting to Haku coming at him, exiting the mirrors, um, especially when he got his uh, one Tomoe Sharingan. So, hence, someone of Hidan's caliber, who's capable of fighting off Jin Chiriki, and also being impervious to damage nonetheless, would more than likely triumph over someone like Haku. It is more likely that he would react to Haku trying to attack him from his mirrors if, again, someone like Kid Sasuke was able to react to him. And I think we all agree that Kid Sasuke would fall to Hidan and most likely uh, pale in comparison to his speed and reaction time. Um, he is an Akatsuki member, after all. So, overall, I would say that Hidan... First of all, wouldn't be damaged, or at least damaged enough to where it's significant enough. And I would say he has faster, he has fast enough reaction times to react to anything Haku throws at him um, from within her mirrors, or or within his mirrors, or him exiting his mirrors to attack him. I think he wouldn't be able to catch him anyway. So I think Hidan would probably beat him. Great, yeah. What's it called? Like uh, with and this is Haku versus Hidan, right? Yeah. Just making right. sure are they right? Okay. So. What do you guys think about that? It's it's a really interesting um interesting one like the like the best way you can do it like it's it's it goes two ways in, in simple terms for me. It's either hit on just straight up slams and you if you think like Haku's combat speed and everything is is you know similar to fucking kid Sasuke at that time yeah. and that she's only a threat with the ice mirrors which is kind of like emphasized and even Zabaza was getting shaken up, and Zabaza knows her to the core. Like, he knows when she's oh, yeah. holding back. Everything he knows, her. you know what I mean? Like, so it'd be very weird and disingenuous f to think that, like, she was still holding back. Like, we know she was holding back overall because she wasn't using the ice mirrors, which that's when she goes, like, gets full series. Yeah. But what I'm saying is she's not holding back when she's using combat speed, reaction speed, you name it. It's Definitely It's blatantly not. shown that, like, she's getting her ass beat by a kid Sasuke, you know what I mean? With no shot and gun. Yep. So... so yeah. So if you have that, so like if they start base to base and you and you, and you analyze all that, then hit on should just basically with a speed blitz before she can even do yeah, her even, ice mirrors. Even you, or, yeah, even activate them, yeah. Yeah, or if you grant her like if you somehow, which it's gonna be hard to prove, um, but if you somehow grant like, you know, maybe jutsu activation similar like Sasano, you know, when uh, Sasuke that's when he gets B, et cetera, et cetera, and you think she can activate it in time to compensate for that speed difference into where now she has, you know, her crazy teleportation speed, then it just gets to the point where it's like, whether if you think, um, you know, hit on can deal with that or whatever. And I'll be honest, like there's many characters that react to Haku's ice mares. You have Sai who's reacting to it. You have Rock Lee and base who's reacting to it. You have Kakashi who's reacting to it. I'm um, in the war arc. You name it. Like, yeah. And I, you know what I mean? Like everybody reacts to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like if all these yeah. people can react to it, like, it wouldn't surprise me that hit on could also react to it too. Like maybe if you want to upscale Haku due to the war feats and all that too, like that's, you know, but then mm. again, it's like, I, that's even hard to do because she's fighting everybody, but she can't beat anybody. Or no, kill she anybody. can't. You she's not, so, she's not having a blatantly like superior reaction time to anybody. So that yeah. wouldn't work anyway. Also people misconstrue Haku's light speed and they try to, uh, yeah. They try to connect it to all her possible attacks. That's not the case. Just within the mirrors themselves, yeah. she is light speed. 
The second she exits that, her speed drops. If not, there would be no way that Kit Sasuke would ever react to her. There would there'd be so, no yeah. way. Yeah. So. With, so with, with Haku, um, I agree completely with what you guys are saying. So his only win con would theoretically be the light spear technique. Um, the whole integrity of that um, statement being accurate is, you know, pretty on point in my opinion, just because on real life, things do reflect yeah, at the speed at light of light. Speed, so yeah. I, uh, I wouldn't say but that, that would be the speed of light aspect, which is not her body and everything like, you know what I mean? Like entirely, you know what I mean? Well, I mean like, if he moved at the speed of light, I mean, in real life, he would be a, bo- like a you know a blob of goo. So, I mean, like there are, true. you'd have to have the durability. For it is him. a fictional universe after yep. all. But so yeah. all I wanted to say with that is like, I don't see him having enough, like, uh, you know, AP and like the send ball needle- needles, of course, even though they are accurate. Edon's quite immortal, obviously. As yeah. Know. It would just like tickle him. Thing- yeah. yeah, the only thing I can see like actually working is let's say he goes uh, from mirror to mirror at the speed of light, has like a kunai. We know that things uh, with a fast rate of acceleration equivalates to a uh, higher force. So, I mean, if you want to take that hyper literally, you can do that. But that's really reaching, in my honest uh, opinion. And, yeah. Um, yeah. I so, would... I mean, it's it's a matter of like Hedon just being able to survive while Haku exhausts his chakra with using the ice technique several yeah. occasions. I honestly and think that, it, that yeah, I honestly think that wouldn't be a problem. I don't I've never perceived Haku to have like decapitating AP ability to like cut someone's head off. I don't see that happening. Yeah. Um you have to really theorize yeah. and stretch, but yeah. And also really... again, the the whole notion that she's light speed is just within her mirrors. The second she exits, Hedon will react to it. Um, that's yeah, no longer that's, light speed and anyway. that's what we're saying and that's proven a million yeah, times if Kit Sasuke like, could react to fucking Haku going at him it's, it's impossible to say that Hedon wouldn't it's, it'd be impossible like, yeah. like so basically what we're saying is like when she's going to the mirrors that's the speed of light on value but yeah. the moment she gets out you know what I mean like that's when like it's like the, is she still in the speed of light or whatever we know she's moving really fast because it is a teleportation ninjutsu. That's what makes her Let's so go. scary. Oh shit, Sergey, um, you know with ten mean? bucks. Appreciate that, brother. Appreciate it, bro. Um, and like we do, and we do know, like when she first used it, like against Naruto and Sasuke, like everything's in slow motion while she's moving fast. It's kind of some like the Minato type shit. Yep. In a way, but um, but like once again, guys, like you know. Just, you just have no way to really prove that once she's out of the mirrors that she's still light speed. There's no way. Um, because because at that point you would also have to prove that she's like has fucking light speed durability. And I'm gonna be real with you. So what you think Sasuke's fireball scales over? Uh, you know, light speed derb. Um, you know, a- you know, you know what I mean like AP with durability yeah. shit. Uh, do you think his Taijutsu hits harder than <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? like the speed of light? You know, like the fact that I don't know if we're gotten that far. Yeah, yet. You know, QBM. QB oh, amp yeah. Naruto punched her in the fuck and punched him in the fucking face that and like one too, shot him. You know? yeah. So if you had that kind of durability, so like, that wouldn't be an issue. Um, that, yeah, it's like so. It's like there's certain contradictions that are there. Oh yeah, um, several. The only thing, and I'm gonna defend Hawker at least for for anybody that really likes her, or tries to argue otherwise. In one yeah. way, like the only thing you can say for her is like, yeah, we do know like she gets weaker and she gets slower the more she spams. That's true. That's true. That's you know true. I mean, so like, like you know, I'll grant you that, which is why eventually Sasuke is able to tag her and. All this other shit, and more, most definitely the reason why even QB Naruto was able to kind of press her in, in a lot of ways too, because um, yeah. she was kind of reacting to him in, in, in a good bit. Like she was giving him a little bit of run for his money. Yeah. Um. So I'll I'll be like generous with that, but once again though, even if it's a you know hypothetical full power Haku, whatnot, we, she just doesn't have anything to prove yeah. that she's like she's just you... beyond like some Minato level yeah. fucking crazy speed. Because essentially. Like, and with, yeah, yeah if you believe that she yeah he's able to attack someone yeah, at that yeah. speed you would be presupposing that his speed is equivalent to the ray kage at full speed when he fought yeah when he fucking fought minato would kid sasuke everyone too. yeah would kid sasuke <laughs> react to someone moving to, at him at fucking the ray kage speed as a kid absolutely not that's not gonna happen no, it's, it's just disingenuous and then uh, most importantly guys like we technically do see her at full power like not full full power but close to her original power so she's not fatigued she's not yeah, spamming it, over in the over. manga itself she, he, isn't it in the war yeah in the manga you know? itself he's saying like yeah i'm i'm gonna kill you because uh, the only person i i've ever cared about is zabuza and i'm we're not gonna lose so you guys are fucked like he he was definitely amped yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? So, like, you see that Haku with all that. She's amped in a way, like, because that, that's the thing. Like, she doesn't have her holding back uh, mental capacity anymore. Like, she can, becomes a completely mindless tool of weapon, which that is an amp in, in, in itself. Exactly, yeah. Um, so, that was the reason why Haku was even, you know, 
not super effective when Zabuza and uh, even Zabuza actually too. They both were like they were they were conflicted to the point where they weren't going full out like full you know evil tool you know uh, bloodthirst mode yeah. basically. So overall, um, Zabuza even admits that you know. Yeah. So. so overall, yeah, Haku unfortunately doesn't reach those tiers, um, despite the her move him moving uh, light speed within the mirror. So that's would be the most probable and I would say most val <laughs> accurate answer to that. Yeah, that's yeah. like saying Sai and Rock Lee are light speed now in base. You yeah. know, like, probably does have adequate speed to blitz Haku before he even activates Yeah, even before he activates it. Yeah. I can't say that for sure, obviously, but it's more yeah. than likely. More than likely, yeah. So and then uh, even then he dons like immortality and his durability for Yeah, like, he wouldn't be able to take speed. him out I anyway. Real, I think I think it would be I think yeah. uh, hit on what actually would blitz. And the only reason why I'm saying he would before she could do it is think of it this way. Sasuke and Itachi, their Susano is like is like spiritual. It's like an active like they don't have to do a hand sign. They don't have to, you know what I mean, like do any fucking weird shit where like you know it requires and whatever haku on the other hand they have to look she has to do a hand sign form the ice and then make the ice mirror crystals yeah. like she's clearly needing chakra he blitz her you know I mean? and, yeah. and, and, and you know what i mean so like if you analyze so you, that you and hit on charges forward you know yeah, what I mean? yeah. like before she can even do anything she's just not gonna be able to he's see gonna to use her yeah. hand sign he's gonna cut it. her use a ritual yeah. the ritual of joshin it's over he's dead so you know so it's it's not like it's similar um, to susano or any of that other shit yeah so sir jeets let's see what he said even though the data book says that haku moves at light speed yeah in the mirrors i don't entirely believe that because that would mean kitsasuke's reaction speed is light speed well not necessarily because again once haku exits the mirrors he's no longer light speed but i think who uh, i think anybody who is stronger than the red cog is above light speed or almost there i would agree once you reach that tier, like, you start to it, get into I, that. I do think if he's teleporting he, between the mirrors, he does go at light speed, though. Like only, Yeah, exactly. Only That's what I would say. In, yeah. in the mirrors, he's light speed. Yeah, when he's teleporting. And he'd have to, like, somehow, like, attack Sasuke while teleporting if he's even able to manage yeah. to do so in the first place. Which, which makes sense. Which I think once he's out the me. mirrors, it seems like he's no longer going at light speed. Yeah. He's within it them. It yeah. makes sense that that's how it would work because, like, think of it. Like, if he's going light speed right in the mirrors... And in the moment he comes out, you're still going to get like that speed acceleration in a way, which would explain why he's moving so fast when he's also out as well in like teleportation ninjutsu. But he's not like at the full peak of like, you know, speed of light when he's yeah. in the mirror. I mean, it, it's more digressed when he gets out. Yeah, it definitely you drops know, off. That, that just makes sense. That, yeah. that, that's how it would be. You know? um, what are some characters that have really good durability? The Red Kage. Um, the the Kakazu, raw durability. Um, Ramen guy. <laughs> Naruto, basically, even from a kid, he has insane durability. Um, with with Yeah, he does. Um, who like, else out there? Um, Hashirama. Hashirama. Uh, obviously, Tsunade. Oh, yeah. Um, Sakura like, later the only, on. The only time like you could say Naruto has like kind of like questionable durability. Like I'm just this is me just nitpicking for you, Jay. But like there's a point where like it's like when they're doing like the tree climbing shit with Chakra. And then oh, Naruto yeah, yeah. fucks up. He's trying to show off, and then Kakashi's like, "Wait, at that height, he'll." You know what I mean? He's kind of implying that he'll die if he falls. Yeah. And he's crippled, so he can't really react. You know what I mean? So like at that point, like kind of trash or whatever. But yeah. Um, but either I, way, like he was I, still taking like Taiji yeah. blows from. Zombies. And I would. I, I, too, I would just say that season. that happens because the he's not in, intact with the nine. Well, in contact with the nine tails at all. I think if he were to die, yeah. the nine tails would intervene because he doesn't want him to die. But oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the so nine tails. Yeah, like yeah. well, that that's it's yeah, it's stated like you know the like when if he dies, the nine tails. Yeah, dies. like so, when Haku then, beat his, uh, like Haku beat his ass. He was on the ground. And Sasuke had to sacrifice himself. All his all his wounds healed like instantaneously be yeah. before Haku's Everything, eyes. Yeah. Uh, oh, not, not even that like sasuke it's anime only but like well t all right now let's be real manga too but it's just a different way he does it in the manga sasuke like kicks his fucking neck and just snaps it completely um and then in the anime he just like uh from like all the way up on the mountain he kicks him in the air put like puts his legs over his neck and just slams his head into yeah. the ground like their ability massive height someone said you know I mean? so like <laughs> yeah someone said goku solos uh these people yeah <laughs> he does um yeah can the renegade the uh, next question by the way folks may feel free to super chat or if you become a member uh but we'll still answer your questions if you have any uh let's answer this one before we go to the next uh pre-live stream one is there if there was five jutsus you could have in the real life what would they be flying raijin uh shadow clone jutsu yeah uh, edo tensei perfect uh, susano probably MS, susano like, MS, and MS. probably sukuyomi would be my five i think yeah my five would be Shadow Clone, obviously. Uh, Flying Rising, 
probably um gosh that's a hard one so many uh, prob- uh, probably probably like kodo oh that'd be a good one um uh. Another great one would probably be like creation of all things due to oh, like uh That's broken. status. Yeah. And um probably like inorganic reanimation. That'd be pretty neat. Oh, it's a broken one too. Terrain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the only thing I will say, I guess like for survivability purposes to make sure I can't really die in a sense in this world would be just either Shadow Clones, Flying Raijin, Kamui, yeah. um Kamui's a good one. Three. Yeah, uh, four would be um, probably wood style. You know what I mean, oh, if you're yeah. over here doing fucking wood style and shit, like, what the fuck does anybody do to you? Just build houses. Um, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? build houses, um, yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. EMS, what's it called? So this way I'm granted a perfect Susano forever. Like, oh, what the yeah. fuck do you do against that? You're fucked. Yeah. Um, and then you guys in the just fifth, want powers. I love it. <laughs> yeah, and then the fifth one, like, out of anything, I guess, would probably be... Probably the Renegon, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it comes like, with a bunch. Like, I have that, you know what I mean? This way I can get, like, like fucking five dead corpses. That's Yeah, you can literally <laughs> control the dead. <laughs> it, it, it just do whatever I want and control the dead. Yeah. And, like, like what, what do you do against that? Um, yeah, Renegon gets you a shit ton of DC, bro. Uh, so, speaking of Renegon, the next question is about the Renegon. So, the question is, can the Renegon really repel all Sharingan base Genjutsu? Do you guys, you guys want to answer that first, or uh, you want me to go first? I mean, so... We really can't say for sure, obviously. I mean, the closest thing we see is, like, Sasuke's perfect uh, Susano repelling the infant Tsukiyomi, which is, like, the, you know, penultimate Genjutsu, if you will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But his running on was obviously different, though, because it was, like, a running Sharingan. Yeah, that was, like, like a, amp, an amped, amped six-pass Renegon, yeah. Yeah, so that's quite an amp from just a base Renegon. So yeah, that's definitely. the closest thing we have to, like, extrapolate data from as to... Uh, what else I can say about that is the Renegon is all, obviously like the evolved, you know, evolutionary step of the Sharingan. So, yeah. thus off that, you could probably deduce that it could repel all Genjutsu. There might mm-hmm. be some like Tsukiyomi or like Kodo that may work. And again, I say may with a very like, you know, <laughs> questionable the, yeah. certainty. Yeah. And, but, and I feel um, like, like, Shinobi, like, that makes sense what you're saying, because, like, in a way, I mean, like, possibility-wise, we don't have any definitive, you know, we're not saying that, but, um, but, like, that makes sense, because, like, when Sasuke says, oh, Renegon can be dealt with Renegon, what well, he's obviously saying is not, like, a normal base-ass Renegon, he's saying because his has the Tomo wow. and Madara has the same thing, it's a Tomo, you know, shot at Renegon as well. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, you know, that's why can, those two can combat against each other to resist Genjutsu, whatever, so, if you take that at a grain of salt, meaning, therefore... You know, like you said, Renegon's over MS, so any MS Genjutsu shouldn't be able to work on a Renegon because it's higher Dojutsu, right? Yeah. And then going further along those lines, same thing with MS. Like, if you have three Tomo and MS, MS should win, et cetera, et cetera, you know? So. Yeah, so mine, my answer might surprise you guys, but this is mine. Um, so based off the limited empirical evidence that we can extrapolate from anything to even gather some sort of answer, um, I would say actually that it's more likely that the Renegon cannot repel all Sharingan based attacks. Um, so an obscure feat or anti feat that I found found of the Renegon is when, when Kakashi and Obito fought in the Kamui dimension, they actually started out by Genjutsuing each other. It's shown in the manga, yeah. and Kakashi says, "Let's Ooh. stop this Genjutsu bullshit. Let's fight." So they were both Genjutsuing each other, and were fighting that way at the very beginning. Um, again, what Shinobi yeah. said: this isn't as concrete. It's only a statement. But Itachi says the only way you can combat me and my Sukiyomi is if you're an MS user only. Um, mm-hmm. Again, that doesn't prove that's true, though. He might just be saying that. Um, yeah, he could just be saying shit. Yeah, because. Yeah, conjecture. Yeah, uh, yeah it can we, be we, complete conjecture. We go conjecture. further along in Shippuden, Kakashi does say that even with an MS, doesn't even matter. Like, the problem with Sukiyomi is it hacks. Yeah. So if you get hit, you're fucked. Like, so, so he just dro- set, drops it out the window. And then Itachi's like, wow, from one, you know, in- interaction, like, you completely deduce and correctly like yeah. that it's so <laughs> based off of that limited empirical <laughs> evidence i would say not all um I, at best i would say the renegon is not blatantly immune to all sharingan based uh, genjutsus um that's what Certainly i would not say blatantly. Yeah, yeah not blatantly uh shout out to phantom realm thanks for coming oh 10 bucks from the goat as well oh, appreciate that brother yeah. appreciate that brother let's see here i can't remember off the uh this off the top of my head but isn't the renegon used by the otsutsuki i use that their full capacity or no um I would agree with that train of thought. I would say, yeah, the Otsuzuki pushed push the limits of what these Dojutsus are capable of. And you start delving into, uh, well, if you're caught up to Boruto, you start delving into Shinjutsu, which is the superior version of Ninjutsu. And Ninjutsu is actually 
uh, for people that don't know, a poor man's derivative of Shinjutsu, which originated from the Otsutsuki god Shibai. He's the uh, founder and creator of Shinjutsu. So yes, I would say that Otsutsuki definitely pushed uh, the Dojutsu to their limits, um, for sure. So I would agree with that. Yeah. And I would say that to add to that, like the Otsutsuki, that are like, you know, the prerequisites of being an Otsutsuki are like, you know, basically like eating the god tree yep. and doing this on several occasions. So it demonstrates they've been doing this for quite a while. They've had a plethora of time to master their abilities, whether it be the, uh, you know, Ishiki's Dojutsu, I forgot the name of it, but, or, uh, you know, or, or the yeah, yeah. like we're saying as well. So yeah. either or, they've had plenty of a plethora of time to yeah. capitalize on maximizing their efficiency rates so, yeah so unfortunately so. for us like og naruto fans uh the truth is ninjutsu is a poor man's derivative of the original shinjutsu um so that is the superior jutsu described by amato to be so powerful that it can like literally manipulate environments and things of that nature so all that we've come to know and love is simply a poor man's version of the original um i would say father of jutsu which is shinjutsu um, for people that don't mm-hmm. really know that it's kind of it sucks but I mean, that's the truth. So um, that's where it originated from. She by himself uh, was the founder and creator. So uh, Flying Raiji, EMS, Shadow Clones, Tushiki Norbs, Renegons are my pick. Those are good picks. Who would win between Boruto or Orochimaru versus Edo Itachi? Shit, that's a tough one because uh, it's extremely yeah. ambiguous where Orochimaru scales now these days. Um, mm, based off my subjective lens for my subjective lens i would deduce that Rochamar is probably stronger um, he probably has been increasing his caliber however i would say he's not as ambitious as he once was i think after he was revived i guess you could say uh in the war arc, i think he came to a change in ideology um to where that wasn't as important to him he even states it he says that uh sasuke wind has changed or something along those lines and that his own motives have changed as well so I do think he probably is trying to improve, but he doesn't have that hyper-focused, uh, hyper-obsessive, uh, just fanatic type of obsession with improving himself. So I would say he probably is stronger, but it's hard to say whether he's strong enough to compete with Itachi. Um, we saw how inferior he was to him. Um, at an early yeah, it really comes down to speed, right? I yeah. mean, we can't uh, empirically say how fast he is. We just know he's probably an evolved uh, version of himself based on... Um, you know, compared to what we saw in the war arc, of course. Yep. Um, oh, shit, five bucks from, added... uh, once again, from the GOAT. Here's that, bud. There go. The Phantom Realm. Yeah, appreciate you. I just don't think he's fast enough, and, like, obviously, Genji is serious about tomorrow's weakness with Itachi, so... I agree. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> it, it, you'd have to give him the benefit of the doubt that he increased that much, um, which doesn't seem uh-huh. to be the case. He seems very lax now and, like, very laid back. Um... Uh, it would be badass if Sasuke's Renegon was upgraded to a Rene Sharingan against the fight with Ishiki. I hope I spelled his name correctly. That would have been dope. Um, what you said with Ishiki? Oh, you mean if his... Oh, the Sharingan that he has now was upgraded to a Rene Sharingan. That would have been cool. He already has... Oh, he doesn't have a Rene Sharingan. Oh, he, do... he doesn't. He does, right? With Ishiki? Uh, there he still has it, yeah. Maybe he yeah. means maybe he means if his other eye upgraded after he lost his, his oh yeah. his Sharingan yeah that would have been cool you. imagine having double Rene Sharingan It'd be broken, um, but yeah that would have been pretty cool I don't think it'd be enough to topple Ishiki but it would be cool if he had that um, it would probably consume a lot of his chakra oh yeah too. oh yeah just saying he already have pro- yeah. he already has problems with that just teleporting so definitely would have been yeah that'd be problematic yeah yeah but the next question feel free to keep asking questions folks what's going on Luis thanks for coming in. Um, who is, uh, what's the next question here? Would you speculate that Fugaku's MS ability was Amaterasu or even Tsukuyomi or something different entirely? So, of, co- of course, like this question suggests, we can only speculate. I would speculate and deduce that it is likely that Fugaku would have something similar, maybe not exact, because we do see, uh, Itachi's brother, Sasuke, have a very similar ability, which allows me to imply that if you're extremely genetically superior, uh, not superior, but comparable and similar to your bloodline that it seems to be the case that you have a very similar and maybe even equivalent ability um so i would deduce that fugaku maybe has some sort of derivative of amaterasu or Sukiyomi possibly and i would definitely not be surprised by that um so i would say yeah i think he if he doesn't have something equivalent i would say something similar to what yeah, Sasuke has, yeah 
I think it's commonly like dubbed like the Fugaku of the Wicked Eye or something of that sort. So like people yeah. try to like you know interpret that as like it might be Kenjutsu specialist like Itachi was, but yeah. like you said, Sasuke and Itachi both share Amaterasu and they're they're close relatives to one another, obviously. And um, you know Itachi has his own ability besides Amaterasu. Same with Sasuke, even though it's similar, it's a different ability altogether. So it would be safely. Um, you know, it's safe to ascertain that Fugaku may have Amaterasu as well, if anything. I agree. Um, and yeah. it has some other special ability in his other eye that may be Genjutsu related as well. So, yeah. but we don't know because he yeah. can control uh, the Nine Tails, right? He's he's yep. yeah. To be able to yeah do he that, says so. he can do that. Blah blah. What is Mangeko and everything? Um, like yeah, that that's I feel like that's probably the like possibility wise. You know I mean like the highest? I do agree with that completely. If, if he'd probably just either has like some broken Genjutsu, some sort of Sukiyomi or something, or maybe it is Sukiyomi as well. I don't know. Um, and then a Madarazu, but that would yeah. make sense because like, it feels like it's like it's a constant like you know great line thing. thing. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, um, yeah transition. You know, by the way, so. folks, make sure to hit the fucking like button if you haven't already. Gets us up in the algorithm. Um, let's try to shoot for forty likes once again. We've hit a few in a row with forty or more. We appreciate that. So make sure to hit the like button. Um, yes, if you're watching sir. the recording, watching live. Yay definitely a very beneficial i sent you uh two scans uh what's it called in dms real quick uh, this is backtracking to the cobbito thing and whatnot um, oh, okay someone someone sent this to me which i was aware of this as well but once again i feel like we already like discussed everything but what do you think on those two scans let's see for Kabuto's sake. as long as i have tensei and uh there's jutsu i'm invincible i swear to you i'll crack the truth about the you stick a white zetsu spore on him of course in that case black zetsu you have to get started okay let's see this one you will spill all its secrets, including on stop. And if I say no, uh, you will surely not reach what you desire, and what you desire will become something else. I love Widow Threads. <laughs> <laughs> I think that this further reinforces that. Yeah, it says taking on the Renegon here won't help me, which implies inferiority. But I've got two. I've got. Uh, but I've got a plan to give away all my secrets at once. Very well, but there's no one here to use as a sacrifice. Like I said, this woman's off. If someone says that's like the closest you get to them about to go and all brawling out and right. shit. Right. And you can yeah, see yeah, who. Exactly. Which, which this would be a full power Obito because he's not controlling yeah. any Jinjutiki too. And you can, so that's even more. Yeah, it's clear to tell. Yeah. Like it's clear to tell who's a superior in that just than that dialogue. It's very clear. Yeah. Yeah. And there's no reason for Kabo to to lie because he's t saying this to himself and within his own mind as well. He's it's saying, narratively, narratively well, implied, that, like, that, but, that's what I'm saying, yeah. like, because the other guy that met, I'm not going to call him out or anything, but he was saying that, like, fucking, as long as I have, like, that Otenza that, and that other Jutsu, I'm invincible, but, yeah. like, for one, but I, like, what is he talking, like, is he referring to Madara? Because if that's what he's referring to, there's probably, that, probably, yeah, uh, there's no way that he would just refers to the Akatsuki. And, um, I, and I, and I still don't think that would be enough, like, if you deduce and analyze everything afterwards. Yeah. I mean, just to compare it, I just, I don't know, man. I won't yeah, see because it. with Madara, he probably would have a fair shot. Um, again, unless we presuppose that Madara breaks out, which he probably would anyway. Um, yeah. Without Madara, it'd be a hell of a... Yeah, without Madara, he's probably going to fail. That's pretty implied. He won't defeat the uh, Obito just with the with the Akoski alone. I think he'd have a, a big trouble. Um, I don't think it's smart for Obito to have, like, Kabuto as a henchman, knowingly, knowing that he may be able to, like, you know, surpass him or exactly. overtake yeah. his role in general, like narratively is implied. And not, and now that Obito was like threatening him over and over, like I believe that was one instance. I could have sworn he did it like two other times too. But he's like that panel. He's literally threatening him over and over, like so he doesn't give a fuck. Like if he's he's ready to throw right. Oh yeah, he was ready. He was ready to do what so he had like, to do. So like, oh. so like it's like I don't know, man. You know what I mean? Like I feel like even narratively, you would still support. Yeah. Like I I get what what you're trying to say. Um, with these two scans, that it's maybe it might go in favor for Kabuto narratively, but like if you really see it, like I don't, I don't. Think yeah, with really Madara, I don't, I don't have a problem if you include Madara in the equation. Without it, it's contentious, and without the Edo Tensei entirely, he's losing. He's not beating. Yeah, he summons like three thousand Edo Tensei. So that would right, be like yeah, problem. exactly. The way, the way, uh, yeah. yeah, the way I see it, it's like <laughs> fucking like this. Obito is at full power. We know that, right? You know what I mean? He's not doing all the tail beasts, so like he would be even more faster, more of a threat. And I feel like the way it would go is just like before Kabuto could really like you know do all his stuff, he just probably gets speed blitz in combo, you know, yep. or like the you yeah. know, the the Renegon would negate anything he throws, and then once he has an opening combo or something or soul suck or whatever the case, you know, yep. or ghetto statue, he could summon that thing too. Like there's I don't know, there's just so much yeah. where like it would make sense for, for why Obito's like, yeah, no, I'm gonna fuck you up, bro. I'm ready. Yeah, now. he definitely you didn't know? see him <laughs> as a, too much of a threat. Um, have you heard Ryan versus Davis is conferred for April? Oh, that's, that's gonna be a great uh, boxing match. 
as two of the mm -hmm. uh, the next guys taking up the mantle, I would say the the next generation of boxers. So definitely gonna check that out. Who you got for that fight? If you're implying that fight, I'm going with uh, Javante Davis. I think uh, Ryan Garcia is a little green. He doesn't take it as he doesn't take the sport as serious. And when you don't take the sport as serious, we see we've seen what happens uh, when you don't do that. So I would go with Davis. He's like a little celebrity. Yeah, he he's like he's Oscar based. De La Hoya. But not as disciplined. He reminds me of Oscar, but not as disciplined. Mm -hmm. and I think he's or gonna Juju Schuster, bro, low key. Yeah, exactly. And that that it's limits your development as an athlete. You're going. It's going to be detrimental to him. And if anything, mm -hmm. this will teach him a lesson. If he wants to be world class at the highest level, he's going to have to uh, buckle down and really become Take disciplined. It exactly. Yeah. Davis just lives and breathes boxing. He is Mayweather's protege after all. So he just lives and breathes boxing. He doesn't do anything else. Um, uh, stage mode Naruto versus Warwick Orochimaru would be a bad, uh, a badass matchup. That would be interesting. Warwick Orochimaru. Orochimaru has the Edos, bro. Oh man, Jeez. yeah, that'd be crazy. How would, uh, how would the Hokages deal with the main Otsutsuki members, like the strongest ones, besides Hashirama and the end of War Naruto? They're two OP. Otsutsuki. Otsutsuki. Oh, shout out to uh, Phantom Realm for resubscribing for three months as a member. Peace to the brother. Hey. Um. So how would Let's the the Hokages, besides Hashirama and Naruto, deal with the with the main Akatsuki members, the strongest ones. Oh, so like the three, the big three at least you could say. Um, Minato would be too fast for any of them, I'd say. Um, be, besides, arguably, if, obviously, if you're talking about Obito. Jubito or fucking White Mask Obito, it might be different. But if we're just talking about you know Orange Mask, Itachi, and Nagato, Minato alone would be trouble. But add on top of that, Toby Rama, Tsunade. Uh, you can even add Kakashi if you want. Um, and you would add in uh, he is in his prime as well, if we presuppose he's in his prime. I would lean to the Hulk. I would lean towards the whole Kage's taking out the big three. Um, well, if if Yellow Mask can arguably take on Minato, like almost, I, I that's true. Say it's safe, safe to say Orange Mask might take. He might be faster. Out. Yeah, he might he'd be, be the fastest one out of all the Hokage, obviously. He, he'd be the um, biggest. He said not Hashirama too. So yeah, uh, not, if uh, if those two are included, then. Either one of those guys alone would smash all of them, but um, I think yeah. Obito would probably be the deciding faction. Yep, it all depends on how you scale him. There is a good argument that he's faster Nagato, than Minato. Yeah, I'm not gonna be a problem too. Like oh, he's got Minato, he's going up against B in case and one Naruto. Imagine him. That's impressive. As an alive variation, how fast he'd be as well. He's got a Shinra Tensei, Shibaku Tensei. That's a good point. All that yeah. to, to deal with uh, Toberami, no matter how fast he may be. Yep. Um, so, Obito has a seal. I'd, on him, which makes it worse. I mean, yeah, if we presuppose he has the seal, then yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Um, they can defeat the whole Koski by themselves. I don't know about that. Um, we're talking about Minato Sinai to Rome here, isn't? Do you think they can be the likes of, for example, Kisami, Itachi, Pain, and Obito? Those four together, that'd be a that'd be a problem. Um, Obito speed. Like, wait, didn't uh, didn't didn't like the right Kage go full speed at Orange Mask Obito and he couldn't do anything? Yep, couldn't. He just phased. He just like, phased through. Like, was that was that cloak one right? Uh, two. Though? I think it was cloak if one. If it's cloak one, that would make sense. Makes like, sense though. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But but even if it's cloak two though. I, I, don't, I don't know which one it was. Like I'm pretty. But then again, no, 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 no. So hold on, hold on. Because like, what, what? That would be weird. Like, why would you go cloak one, which is way more of a handicap and speed comparison? Because like, remember, like cloak one was going on par with Sasuke. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. With, with three homo. And then fucking, and then when he when Sasuke goes MS, he goes like cloak two. Exactly. You yeah, could argue that. that like yeah. Speed form, so it's you, like why would he go cloak one? You could argue that he was fatigued. Yeah, you could argue he was fatigued already though. But. Oh yeah, true, true, true. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he almost died to Sasuke. Yes, yeah, so he's not yeah. like at full speed. Yeah, true, true, true. Yeah. Um, who would win between Boruto, Nomu Mushiki versus Naruto Neji fight? Oh shit. Um, Boruto versus Naruto, the one that fought Neji, without Nomu Mushiki. Mm. The kid skills high, man. Even in base, without Momo, he skills pretty high. Um, I heard he's cracked. <laughs> yeah, there, there is an episode um, where he does some pretty crazy stuff just in base without Momo. Um, not to mention that he was able to carry a giant Rasengan into Momoshiki's fucking face and beat him as as yeah. a kid in base. And Naruto's never done anything even remotely close to that. I would rationally probably go with Boruto. Unfortunately, strong, dude. broken. Yeah, yeah without his, fucking his Momo. Like, I remember, I remember that video that yeah. like well, it was either Swag. I can't remember who did it, but someone did it to where like they posted like that like QB Naruto would stomp Boruto and all this shit, and then they they reanalyzed everything. And they're like, wait a minute, 
we were tripping like clown feet like nah like <laughs> <"Pork toast cream." laughs> yeah. you know I mean? so they had to like rewrite that video and re-upload and explain and apologize yeah. but, but uh, like you, you know. favorite live action batman what do you got? What would your guys' be? Mine would probably be uh, Dark Knight. Uh, the, definitely, Dark Knight. yeah. The trilogy yeah, with Christian Bale, that shit was just solid. Goated. It was yep. down, really goaded. Yeah, like uh, the story yep. was beautiful. The the core values of Batman oh, man. was obviously. He's Ledger, dude. Only... Damn, he was a legend. Yeah, oh, by legend. far the best joke we've seen. Like, like um, what's that guy's name? Phoenix? Oh, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. He did really good as well. He did. I really he did. liked his Joker yep. too. Um, you know what I mean? So I, I'm not going to just I like, love that version of the Joker, bro. I'm like, like he was, he was yeah, sadistic. Like, yeah, he, he, he was really sadistic. fucking good. Like, if anything, he should have been playing Joker instead of uh, a fucking Jared Leto. Okay? Oh, yes. You know, so, oh, yeah. 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 If that yeah. motherfucker was the Joker, that would have been fucking great. Because since we don't have Heath Ledger, that would have been good. Yeah, but, Jared Leto was um, dog shit. That wasn't even a Joker. I don't know what the fuck yeah, that, that was. Horrible. Yeah. That was horrible. I was like, you should have just been Black Mask. You ask, you ask. <laughs> You act more yeah, like Black was, Mask than you do Joker. He had, he had like a gangster, like you know, yeah. like Black Mask. Yeah. He would have been good for that, not fucking Joker. Like, first of no, all, Joker yeah. doesn't give a fuck about Harley Quinn. Like, he's she, he's just she's just some random ass thought to him. Like, he doesn't really give a fuck about. Her. And that too, like he's uh, just using her. You know I mean, yeah, like, he beats her ass, he treats her like shit all the time. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, like, I was really disappointed. Yeah, no, that, it was just dumb how they did that. But like, but no, when it comes to live action, we I'm pretty yeah. Like Jay said it. Shinobi said it. We can all pretty much agree like that. That's where it was at. The only critique that you could give, but this is not because of a movie uh, critique. This is mainly due like if you're a comic fan of Batman, was that the martial arts was fucking trash uh, for Batman. Like the guy was just kind of spinning and punching and kicking. Like he wasn't. He didn't really show. Oh like, yeah, it, yeah. It showed like it showed narrative implications that he was like a god tier badass or whatever yeah yeah, you know yeah. I mean? like he, and he would have his moments but like whenever you get to really see him fight multiple people whatever it's just him spinning and that's it yeah and i'll agree with that around. i'll agree with like, that that was really weird because i'll give that to ben affleck's batman yep yep ben yep. affleck's batman was fucking horrible intelligence you name it story you etc etc yeah, but yeah. at least he had the fighting the comics yeah fighting like the, and the choreograph was good yeah, yeah yeah i definitely that agree was so that's that like was the only critique i'll have for that but... yeah I, I agree with that as well the story and the overall lore was goaded for the dark knight um but yeah ben Perfect. affleck that's what every batman should be yeah. yeah but ben affleck's like choreography with the combat scenes was definitely better for sure that was uh, way superior than anything he was like slamming people like yeah. batman shit you name I mean, it batman was getting um, his ass beat by like a fucking like rottweiler and a couple of losers like in a fucking yeah, parking lot like, like, <laughs> so there, there's just certain yeah. things that just didn't feel right um, so you have that. Well, what I feel like what they try to do, and I think so like, that's the only way you can really critique it. It's that and obviously the intelligence aspect. Agreed. He was also retarded. In that oh, movie. yeah, yeah, he yeah. Was yeah. Dumb as fuck. He was. And ben Affleck was even worse. He was even more dumber. Yeah. But, you know what I mean? But, like, he was dumb in those movies. You yeah, know? I, agree. I, will, I will say that, too, though, guys. Like, the whole, uh, you know, characterization of Joker or Batman, it's been played by some really talented people before. And yes. absolutely. we've seen we've seen great iterations of how that character is supposed to, you know, be presented. So to come up with like, you know, uh, you know, sequels or or movies that are going to come in the future, it's gonna be hard to carry that torch, so to speak. You absolutely. Know, we've already had such a great taste exactly. of exactly yeah. Uh, what that what that looks like so it, it's agree. tough and one coming really um is. And so like, that's what i'll say but i feel like the main reason why they went that route to where you can't really critique it is because they wanted it to be more of a real life version of adaptation of batman and joker yeah i get and that that's fine, yeah. man. i respect that then, mm -hmm. you know what i mean like yeah. it can obviously yeah. be disappointing in ways for the comic people and etc or the animated films all that you know what i mean but like but either way like that would make more sense but that's like the only that's like the best analysis in my opinion. Yeah. Other than uh, that, Robert Robert Pattinson Batman, I thought he did really good. He did too. well. He did well. Um, I the agree. fighting was really good in that too. Um, yeah. You know what I mean? Like I enjoyed it. I still got to give it to the Christian Bale movies. Yeah, I um, still think they're better. Really yeah. I think he was way better than fucking the Ben Affleck. Batman oh yeah, and all way that better. Yeah, yeah. The shit. lore development was very well done to me. Um, yeah. But at the same time, Naruto has Gamabunta, Kanobu, and Boruto with so many shadow clones. He didn't say Naruto couldn't use Kur uh, Kuruma's chakra. Yeah, but they did specify what version. I don't think that one tail or even less than that uh, QBM Naruto is beating Boruto. If you if you want to presuppose he like enraged nine tails, then yeah, he probably would beat him. Um. Uh. Yeah, Ryan likes to fight with his chin up. Yeah, Ryan Garcia has bad habits at the world class level. There's a reason he got dropped by Luke Campbell. If that was Durante mm -hmm. dropping that bomb, he's not getting up. I'll tell you that. Um, he's staying down. He's probably going to sleep. Um. 
If Kisame was able to be uh, to still be alive after the war, do you think he would join Sasuke on his travels? On a tactical standpoint, it would be more sound. Um, that's actually a realistic uh, perspective. I do think Kisame would gravitate to Sasuke, or maybe he'd just go on his own if he was still alive, just wander the wander the earth. Um, yeah, like they can see that honestly. Like yeah. I'd say he would just still go like solo, probably solo McGee mode, probably yeah. whatever. Because like even when Sasuke was there, like when the Akasuke was still a thing, he was more loyal to the Akasuke than just having a relationship with Sasuke too. Exactly, so. I agree. Um, oh, Ken Rock with two bucks. I appreciate that, brother. Ken Rock, with I time to drop the Kushina scale. <laughs> Uh, oh lord i forgot boruto beat momoshiki in base yeah he he didn't beat him but he fucking threw a giant wrestling on his face in base yeah like yeah. he had help you know what i mean like like i said guys we're not yeah, saying like he straight up just like did it on oh him. yeah no like, no no like no, like, no, no. like, yeah. he, like he just has impressive feats that like i would just never see we would never see kid in order to absolutely That's not what we're saying. uh but, like he does like the vanishing rising gone that shit was crazy he yeah. does He's able to charge, like, after Naruto helps him power up the Rising Gun, he's able to charge by himself and slam the Rising Gun on him still. That is exactly. impressive. And he well. tanks the fucking AP. The, the AP. You see his arm tank yeah, all yeah, that yeah, force. Yeah, like his arm gets fucked in, and he's able to tank that's up. Insane. That's insane. That's insane. You know, so. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, that's like, insane. Just, like, you guys got to give uh, that. Like, and that's, fucking like, kid. That's the lowest. He's that's a fucking the kid. Feet. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fucking little it's kids the he has tanking a fucking because it gets he, better and better yeah, a little ass kid tanking a massive wrestling on that his overpowered father gave him to fucking use like what the fuck it's like the, the Goku, Gohan, Gohan yeah. and Gohan uh, and Goku Kamehameha thank basically. you yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what it was, um, you know? favorite type of tea I don't really drink tea but uh, uh, probably jasmine green or like one. Yeah. favorite dog like breed this, this. I think that's very subjective but mine personally would probably be like a German Shepherd or something. Yeah. And then, Mine's Akita. Yeah. Uh, yeah it, for me, it's like Huskies or German Shepherd. Those are Golden dope. Would be yeah. Place. Yeah. What, do you, what would you do for the next phase of the MCU? Um, I would certainly uh, try to... I'm, I'm going to be I'm gonna be real. Obviously, this is very subjective from my own political yeah. viewpoint. But eliminate the political correctness bullshit. There's a reason why Thor was dog shit. The newest Thor movie was dog shit. Um, there's a reason why Doctor oh, Strange was oh, pretty man. dog shit as well. I don't give a fuck about ideologies being embedded from either side of the spectrum in any movie. I just want to see fucking superheroes fighting supervillains. Let's keep it to that. Right. I want to see fucking the weird it's shit. Good. Like, come on, man. Like, let's get that shit out of the way. There's a reason why those movies flopped and were dog shit. So, I can see, and not even that, Jay. Like, even if they were to go the route, that's fine because, like, they could technically still pull it off. Like, because they do it in the comics, like, yeah, they, they do true, beautiful true, yeah. ideologies and like political stories where it's absolutely incredible, but you still get to see all that crazy right. epicness. You know what I mean, like, yeah. them fighting, going out, you name it, so because you have it all to while in the movies. They're focused. They're trying to put that in there as well, with like the political or this or whatever, yada yada. But they hyper focus on that shit, yeah, which makes it boring or stupid and redundant. And they have none of the superhero yeah. fighting and all that. And it's just dumb. It they just overemphasize work. it. Like I don't give a like, fuck. They're not that. writing yeah. it right. Like they yeah. have the comics in front of them, and even the animated, and you name it, and they all do it perfect. That's if you want to do it, then just copy and paste that shit, bro. But and yeah. then change it up in your own way. Exactly. It's, it's so um, common mode. That it's a common motif that occurs when like we we enjoy a great novel or a book and then we see it translated yeah. into a movie and we're you know we're, we're therefore disappointed and it happens like, oftentimes, you know, I mean, as everyone should know, War. You know? like look at civil war in the comics you know what i mean like they, it was beautiful story beautiful political political writing and we got to see all the crazy fighting villains superheroes you name it it was great while in the fucking mcu it, it was a good movie don't get me wrong i'm gonna still excuse me i'm gonna still say it's a good movie but it was a ghetto version yeah. instead what we get we get the political and the writing as well to a certain uh, degree which in Agreed. my opinion was nowhere near as good as the comics but we do get that but then they're fighting in a fucking airport and descriptive analysis about certain events and the animation yeah, no. can only have an, a, a budget to animate yep. so much of that said description the first yeah, so yeah i agree it's not um, just for anime or fictional books it's like for yeah any genre, it, it's you know I mean? it's yeah. the 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 obvious emphasization of i would say very narrow political viewpoints that we don't need in that we don't fucking need in a superhero movie man like it, disney it if you want that disney that, make okay. a fucking movie about some other shit that's not about fucking superheroes don't tarnish yeah. that with your like 
your bullshit political ideology. I don't give a fuck. I'm, I want to see oh, Thor no. fucking fight Hulk or whatever the fuck the movie's about. I don't want to fucking hear exactly. about. <laughs> yeah, like I don't give a fuck, man. Like, I don't. like Jay, remember that Iron Man versus kind of that shit was. No, that like, was heat. War? Yeah, that like, was heat. All that shit, it was so good. No, that was, was a yeah, it. that was a polarizing. His mom uh, finds out like. See, that was good to me. I don't know how you feel, Jay, but like when he finds out his mom and the whole Oh, shoot, man. That was amazing. I that was really good. That was you know amazing. I mean? that, that works. Yeah. That, now, that's you know, an that's interesting, good. I would say, polarizing um, ideological clash. <laughs> that's polarizing. Yeah. 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 yeah that's but the true. bullshit we see yeah, like in the Thor movie, like the, the new Thor movie, oh, I don't yeah, need to see that bullshit. So I don't need, I don't give a fuck. So I don't. So bad. Horseshit. I don't like, give a fuck. I was stunned by the guy it was. Since we're going to be shitting on MCU right now, okay, and forever we ask this, and I know they're kind of getting a, a, a ball out of this, Hulk was done horrible. Oh, my Fucking God. Dog shit. <laughs> Dog shit. <laughs> like, what are you doing, go, bro? How, does, how do we go from the Incredible Hulk, which is like the Hulk. Like, He's a bitch. That was who Hulk was. You yeah. know, so goaded, so, like, fearful, monstrous, you name it, like, unstoppable, whatever. Then to the MCU Hulk, where he's a bitch. He was a little bitch. A little bitch in the movie, crying because fucking Thanos whipped his ass. I'm like, when does Hulk do that? What the fuck is this? I was so disappointed. I was like, this is an incredible Hulk. You should change his name to fucking the, the, the incredible so bitch or some like, shit. Hey, you want to know what pissed me off the most about it? They were they were doing like they were doing well in the beginning. It was the first Avengers movie, which, by the way, was goaded. First Avengers movie to where we see Hulk transform again, and they still kept like the scary fear, like you know, like scenery, like it was there, like it was all yeah. there, it was great. But then the more it's it, it started going more and more into it, like after Avengers one, it just went to like bitch Hulk, like because oh, they were kind of it was Pretty like they're conflicted. The incredible bitch, one, <laughs> where they were like, you're like, bitch. should we make yeah. Hulk like this? You know who he's supposed to be from the comics? You name it. Oh or, shit, or six is in here. You know, so Ooh. six is in here. You said check your DM. Oh shit, give me a second. Shout to the goat. Uh, oh shit, you said you should let me on the stream. Oh for good. sure. <laughs> By all means, bro. All I mean, let's see. Is that him in? Hop to it. Hey, hey, he's probably gonna dog us because we're talking shit about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, if you like that new Thor movie, bro, I don't know. Nah, what man, that's just dog shit. To me, that's dog. Thor, I mean, shit. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. What about the what about the the Thor movie with the, the newest one that came out? How did you guys feel about that? Like, I was so confused with that, to be honest. The one that I was talking about, right? The, the whatever it's called. Yeah, that's what yeah, I was yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog shit. Sure. Okay. Dog shit. Yeah. Yeah. I you guys are talking about All right, let's see if uh, let's see if six comes in. Okay. Uh. That was that was a letdown though. I agree with Zert though, bro. If, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you analyze like the the comics and even Gordon Yo. Butcher, like his whole thing. Like, oh. What's up? What's going on, Six? Do you? What's good? What's good? Uh, How you doing, brother? We're just answering uh, random questions. So I'm chilling. Yeah. I, yeah, uh, I just heard you were talking about the MCU. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's a lot of people trashing on it, bro. Yeah, bro. We were just kind of trashing on like the the obvious like. Like the direction is going so far. It's the, it's the over exactly. it's the it's oversaturation on, yeah. of like political correctness. I don't need that in fucking a superhero movie, bro. Stick to the stick to the script. That's the way I look at it, at least. Like, yeah, it's weird. It definitely appeals to a certain audience. So oh yeah, I see absolutely. They do it, but I see that. it is pretty annoying to like, uh, watch. She Hulk. Like, I turned off really quickly. Like, I understand she's supposed to be a strong character. I mean, she's She Hulk, but I don't need like the political correctness and stuff like that. It's not necessary to me. Like, just make her a badass, yeah, villain, a badass character that beats up bad guys, dominates. I did love the Daredevil in her moment. That shit was cool. Bro. That was clean. That was fire. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I don't need yeah, to see her cool. twerking with fucking Megan the Stallion. Bro. Like, I don't give a fuck. That shit like, was heat. That shit was heat. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little bit crazy. No, yeah. I get what you mean though. Yeah, it's, it's like just... the MCU sort of forgot. Uh, where it got its fans from originally. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Nerds, like, yeah, we're we're just nerds that just I want to see Captain see. America and, and fucking Winter Soldier fights. Oh, oh that shit exactly. was so fun. That's what I'm saying. Like that that's it was so good, dude, before. Dude, that, mean, that was the golden like, era of MCU. Winter yeah. Soldier, Captain America, that, yeah, it was the second movie, right? Yeah. yeah. Like that movie was just oh my god. I call god. it like the Robert Downey Jr. era. That was the golden years. I think people generally overhype like the other phases of the MCU. Okay. Um, yeah. Like, especially when comparing it to, like, Phase 4 and whatnot. Like, Phase 1 and 2 are not better than Phase 4 at, uh, at all. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I do think they're not as, like, 
climactic as Phase Four. I think that's where things really. But started they were that. they were different at the time. You yeah. Know what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. They were different, special, and everything was connected, so they had a purpose. Now those movies don't really have purpose in the MCU. They don't really get talked about a brought right. up, and the characters that were there, they're not there anymore. Cool. And they're like, you know, since it's a new saga, they're building different characters to be important and no one wants to sit through it again right yeah yeah, just, yeah. yeah, it's, it's, just re- yeah it's like I, re- I do like Kane. i do like him kind of getting in the mix of it because he is a really like he's a really cool fucking villain especially if you know the comics lore etc and you name it or the animated films um he's really interesting but it's kind of weird to a degree i don't know how you feel about it as well six and jay and everyone but like it's weird because then again Kane interacted with the main avenger crew i mean it wasn't with like this new like building like the next Avengers type setting to interact with the Avengers main hardcore villains like yeah. that's what's a more confusing element for me too especially if you know the comics or the animated films and yeah game and et cetera. also it's just absolutely weird. bro by the yeah, way folks six that. is in here so if you have any questions for him for, make sure to ask him he is in here so yeah, yeah. appreciate that um I love the just I love the Justice League dark movies oh, those are heat man the animated movies yes I think they're pretty good uh but uh-huh. six what's your thoughts on hulk like uh, his whole development in the mcu and then the gore uh gore the butcher thing shit the thor movie like did you tell us shit was this trash i don't know or? i hate hulk in general so, <laughs> when, he got, when he got done when he was like being a bitch in the mcu yeah he peaked he peaked in avengers one bro <laughs> that's where he peaked no actually i think he peaked in ragnarok oh yeah yeah it's, it's, for not, sure, like for it was, sure. it's not like it was yeah. gradually building up to yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Him being good in Ragnarok, he just happened yeah, no, to be good no. there, and that's yeah. it. Yeah, he had like his key moments, and it, it had a lot of comical vibe. But see, like what pisses me off of Ragnarok, that was kind of like a bootleg tease of Planet Hulk. I was kind of hoping it was that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah, read that I, comic. I yeah, you guys are aware of that crazy goaded story from the oh, comics dude. and animated films too. But like the whole thing with that is, you know, the fucking uh, because Hulk was so dangerous, so powerful, whatever. They're like, all right, we just need to cast him out. Like, we need to nerf him. Yeah. Yeah, the Illuminati were like, we need to get rid of him, which that consisted of like Iron Man, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you know, you name it. And so they got rid of Hulk, they sent him on a planet, shit happened, whatever. Uh, he thought it was the Illuminati that did it. So then he goes back to Earth and has like a whole world Dude, of that, planet Earth. That comic book was scary, man. that comic book you know was I mean? really like, uh was really goaded, yeah. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, story. I thought it was gonna kinda go in that direction because that's kinda what it did. It did it in an Ultron movie where it sent him off away. Like they were like, Oh yeah, this is our perfect opportunity to get rid of the Hulk now, or whatever type yeah. shit. And they do that, and then we get all of that, and it's like, what? It's like, okay. Yeah. You know, so, but as far as DC, that. I do think their animated movies are pretty good. Um, they probably have the, the right. upper hand compared to Marvel. Yeah, yeah, yeah I would say that. Um, Absolutely. The Justice League Dark movies, dark. really, I really enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed the... Uh, the I haven't really... watched those in a long time. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, just, yeah like uh dc animated movies in general i just remember yeah. enjoying it's them all on uh, hbo yeah a few months ago i went on like an hbo max binge and i rewatched yeah, like max. yeah like justice so league HBO max? yeah yeah okay. most of them are on there yeah if you download amazon on like your console whatever you have like you just get amazon then you just scroll down and click hbo max you can just do it Dude, the, the one where it's like a rated r version it was uh Apocalypse, yeah. I think, where fucking Batman gets controlled by Darkseid. That was so cold. Yeah, it's, it's that, where, that was like, heat, Darkseid man. Darkseid wins and beats everybody. Yeah, and, like Damian Wayne has to go like un like unbrainwash his, his fucking father and stuff. That was pretty cool. I actually really like that one. Yeah. Um, I did not know they were on HBO Max. I'm actually gonna watch yeah, them. Now. Yeah, they they like added movies. all of them, like even the old stuff, like from all, way back all in the, the movies, day. All Justice the League Unlimited, movies. Justice League Animated. Yeah, it's all there. Uh, well, I only wanna... used HBO Max for fucking Game of Thrones, so I don't know. I just <laughs> yeah, that shit on Hulu now, bro. I just watch it. There. I've been watching The Last of Us. That's all on HBO Max. But yeah, I started watching that too. I'm only in the second episode. I've only finished. I mean, I played the game like a thousand times, but the the TV I shows. I still good. haven't seen Game of Thrones to be honest. Me either. I need to see Game that. The Last of Us was fucking good, fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah. so like, so like. When people say Game of Thrones is bad, and since y'all haven't seen it, I won't spoil you. Right? Yeah. People, oh, like, you've had the opinion like Game of Thrones gets bad. Like you had to have heard. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. When Game of Thrones gets bad, but the acting performances stay the same, like the whole show, like they're just consistently peak acting performances. Uh, so okay. you don't really notice it unless you're like studying this shit. Oh right, yeah. yeah. You're like overanalyzing it. Yeah. 
Well, I feel like oftentimes, like, shows, like, when they're, like, beyond, I'm assuming Game of Thrones is, like, seven, eight seasons at least, right? Or probably ten. I think Wait, say that again? Uh, so, Game of Thrones is at least, like, what, eight seasons, ten seasons, perhaps? Something like that? Yeah. Yeah, that's I what I heard. Seasons. It's eight. It's eight. It's eight. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, oftentimes I see, like, banger shows, you know, like, come out high in the beginning, and oftentimes they, they're in a rush to end production or something happens of that sort and so they you know they rush the production value or even acting in some instances so i mean it does happen so i think that might be the common opinion about game of thrones in that regard as well yeah i've yeah. heard that but i've heard a lot of positive reception as well like it's fucking good oh yeah, yeah. overwhelmingly yeah, yeah. so i yeah. mean like the the source material and shit is all good like a song of ice and fire the the book series it is based on all that shit is good so all the stuff that like uh, Game of Thrones was before when it was just adapting that everyone loves. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I definitely gotta start watching. I don't know why I have never got around to it. Right now, oh, dude, the Last of Us is fucking heat. Oh, I've heard that as oh, well. Yeah. There's yeah. there's tons of sex scenes. Yeah, yeah, I heard that it's like crazy. So like funny. Witcher, Witcher like, three type shit or whatever. Dude, the um, Witcher is dope, bro. I need to check yeah, that out as well. Uh, uh, let's see. DC's better in general for me. I mean, to each their own. Yeah, uh, to they be both honest. Have pros and cons. Yeah. Like, if we're talking, like, in the cinematic right now, then no. D D like, oh, I cinematic, no. Definitely yeah, give nah, up nah. MCU. I'm um, sorry. Um, yeah. TBH, Gore, Carried Love and Thunder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's just Christian Bale. Yeah, he's, he's a, a legend, man. Um, let's see. So, we have other questions. By the way, folks, feel free to ask any questions. Um, and we'll answer. I do have, like, pre life scene questions that we still haven't answered. <laughs> Um, uh, that Thor movie, bro. I can't get over it. Dog shit oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the Thor shit, like, six. What was your thoughts on that movie? Because it was just so, like... Love I, and Thunder? I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah I, I, lo I liked it, and it was really good, but, like, I feel like it could have been so much better, though. That was my problem. Fuck uh, that shitty ass. Shit was ass. Everyone thinks that movie's dog shit. Yeah. That was so bad, bro. Unless you're, like, a fucking... Yeah, I walked out the theater... Damn, when, uh, you when, when Thor Love and Thunder <laughs> released, and I, I loved it. I loved Thor Love and Thunder the first time I saw it. Oh, really? Then I watched it again, and I was like, damn, this is like the worst fucking movie. <laughs> like, I don't think it's worse hey. than Dark World at all. You know, those oh, are no, no. Those dog shit. The other Thor ones? Horrible. Dark World yeah. was terrible, too, yeah. Like, it's definitely game. better than Thor 1 and 2, but right now, I, I enjoyed it because of the uh, uh, gore, the God, the Butcher, whatever. That, that was the reason why I enjoyed the aspects oh, of he it. Oh, he carried why yeah. I liked it. But when the reason why I didn't like it and I wasn't a fan is because when you analyze that character as well, he was just written completely way better in the fucking comics. Like it was just goaded story, right? Like he was even goaded for Thor. Like he had some crazy ass shit that he did in there. What I like to the yeah. point where like it took like uh, the future Thor and another Thor, all three of them, to fight uh, the God Butcher, or whatever dude. In order to even win against him, because that's how fucking strong he was. Because he has like the Necro Sword, which is the of Noel, who's like the symbiote god and shit of darkness. Yeah, who can like kill celestial yeah. demons. Um, yeah, which let's... they tease that. You... They tease that in the MCU because they yeah. show the head of that celestial where it's in like nowhere, and that was Noel was the one that cut his fucking head off. Yeah, shit with the sword. Most of the time, the the general case is that the comic books are more thorough than obviously the the cinematic like real life interpretations, but. Any source material is really yeah, and it's usually it's watered. It's usually like watered down as well. It's watered down to like fit into like two hours. So exactly, yeah, yeah, um, yeah exactly. See what the questions are: Soul Caliber or Tekken? I'm not familiar with oh, Soul Tekken for me, bro. All day, dog. I'm not familiar with Soul Tekken. Caliber, but I do I like hate Tekken. Fighting games. I'm not good at them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Monica Alvarez versus Sydney Sweeney. I don't know who Monica Alvarez is, but. Um, I've played Tekken since the PlayStation One, bro. Like that was throwback, yeah. dog. Injustice One and Two, I was a god. Oh, oh god. yeah, dude. That I, was, Injustice Two, I had like a broken Batman. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. let's see here. So this is a question before the live stream. This is Bleach, uh, Danga Ichigo versus current Ichigo anime only. Um, so my I take. Yeah, my take is this again. I haven't read the the manga and I haven't read the data books yet. So for my limited knowledge, I would say that uh, what it seems like is that current Ichigo seems to have like some sort of untapped potential. You kind of see glimpses of it when he fights Ewok in the anime, um, and I don't, I just don't think he's reached his past powers when he like when he fought Final Form Eisen. Um, so I would probably deduce that he probably doesn't beat that version of himself yet, um, from what I can currently like extrapolate. 
uh, just from the anime. So I would say he probably loses to Danga Ichigo. Definitely probably final get to Kachencho Ichigo as well. Uh, so I would the say. Gatsu mode. Yeah, 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 definitely. It's also important yeah. to say that um, Ichigo was quite mentally amped. At, you know, he was in quite a uh, you know precarious situation. You know, the whole soul society is being you know massacred and. Yeah, he's definitely mentally uh, amped as well. Yeah. So I mean, I, yeah, but to say that he's on that point of. His past prowess is uh it's hard to yeah and also you know, walk like sure. you walk doesn't say he's weaker than Aizen, but he sees him like as a threat i think he's some, he says something like uh if i face you it's gonna take too long to kill you or some um and Danga ichigo <laughs> was like casually whipping his ass um so i just yeah, don't facts yeah so from what i do know it seems like Danga ichigo stronger no um, matter what though naruto slams bleach <laughs> yeah that's a million dollar question people still talk to about this day uh, yeah, Naruto beat the fuck out Bleach. <laughs> Hell yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> he, 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 six Ray knows why I'm throwing that jab in. <laughs> yeah. Man, we fucking pissing him off on Twitter, bro. Shit's so funny. <laughs> uh, can Sasuke win in the tuning exams in Boruto? Um, <laughs> Sasuke was a kid, you mean? In the tuning exams? Interesting question. Uh, kid Sasuke in the Boruto tuning exams? Yeah, yeah. Like if he was thro- Kid Sasuke was thrown into that exams how would he do i think he's asking um it's a tough yes. question sort of and fucking bored to probably beat the dog shit up yeah that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like they're just way more above, their feats are just uh, more yeah the feats in general are just Nitsuki more impressive too, honestly yeah, that's what i'm saying like Nitsuki, like what the f- <laughs> probably yeah, yeah. Dope, unfortunately bro. there's like that one and gara's like adopted son and you know and all that like to where michi was about to go sage mount him and he stopped like that they were just in a whole other class unfortunately like, the than... the empirical feats uh are just much better as obviously a power cliff and just these young kids are fucking slapping the, the kids of the past unfortunately they're making so, relevant somehow right yeah so, they want to yeah. be relevant they're gonna have to scale to some degree to like the top threats and stuff like that that's the same board till they're also clap momashiki by the way yeah he was able to Use a massive rush thing on his father gave him. Taking it a little too far, bro. But... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, like when he had like his father and son Kamehameha moment, you know, with fucking Naruto and shit. But yeah, yeah. that's still impressive. Yeah, but uh, let's see here. Any questions, folks? Any at all you have? There should be no reason why like, Boruto like, is over here fighting gods. Sasuke, like I would never see that man like replicating like the vanishing rising on feet on Momoshiki or. Doing that, what he did with like fucking Naruto and shit. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I would uh, that. There should be no reason why Boruto is over here fighting gods at the age of 13. I mean, you got a point. But, uh, yeah, any questions you may have, folks? Um, That's all for the anime questions I have. Uh, The rest are like IRL. I don't know if you want to talk about those things six if you don't want to. It's cool. But, uh, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and get out of here. I wanted to come up here because I heard you were talking about the MCU really quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah for yeah. sure, for sure. So, Appreciate yeah. you coming in though, for sure. Thanks for coming in, brother. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Catch you niggas later. Talk to you soon, brother. Peace out, brother. That was cool. That was cool, man. <laughs> yeah. He 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 seems to agree with our takes on the MCU current the current state. So it's just weird, bro. Yeah, like, definitely uh, declined. Most definitely. Definitely, uh, bro. But yeah, that was a W moment from six. We appreciate you coming in once again, brother. Um, so yeah, like I said, RLL questions. Oh, let's answer these real quick, though. I never watched a Red Bleach before, and I think it's way too late for me to get started. Um, it's going to take some time to catch up, but I would say it's worth it. Um, I think it's well worth it, man. I yeah. think it's an amazing series, and it's one of the big three for a reason, too. Yeah. So, I mean... If all social media yeah, is... Yeah, you definitely got to watch it. Um, yeah. what's it called? Like, mind you, like I'm all Naruto all day, every day, but what's it called? Like, I watched it a while ago, and I really enjoyed it myself. So. Yeah. Uh, Ukiora He's versus... like Naruto in a way, too. He's very similar. Ukiora versus Kenpachi? Interesting question. Um, from Ooh, what current I did... Kenpachi? Current Kenpachi. I think that is, he has a lot of untapped potential, and I think that... Uh, I think he we haven't seen what he's capable of yet, so I do think he probably beat Ukiora. Like with most of his potential untapped um yeah that's what i would say about that yeah um, i forgot her name the one he just defeated I oh uh unahana like, unahana so i guess yeah. she was supposed to be like the strongest of like the original yep Gotei and she was the Kim, she was the uh the kenpachi prior to kenpachi yep. yeah exactly so so and then like uh and that wasn't even kenpachi at his like full you know uh maximum power if you will like he's still 
getting yeah. accustomed to what his full abilities are. It's crazy. I, as far as the anime, I, yeah. I haven't read the manga, mind you, but yeah. Oh, not not the current because he just annihilates. Oh, so do you mean the one oh, that fought yeah. Yami? Um, the one that fought Yami did well. Him and uh, Byakuya did well against him. Uh, they kind of exploited his ignorance and slow like his slow attacks. Uh, against Ulkiora, if Kimpashi doesn't get any stronger, he might struggle against Ulkiora. I think he would probably lose, honestly. Yeah, like he his, need Byakuya's help. To especially the, the second all. Resurrection form. I don't know how he would do yeah, against exactly. that. <laughs> yeah, he'd have a tree of trouble. He's extremely fast. And his AP is just you know, insane, yeah. honestly. Kenpachi so. would have to like tap into his potential to, to defeat him or die. I don't know what would happen. One of those two things would happen. So, Or use his sword with two hands. Yep, um, or use his sword with two <laughs> hands. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah so... He's he, a beast. Yeah, that, Kenpachi's a fucking tank. Yeah. Uh, um, so amazing. All right, folks, so we're going to the IRL section. By the way, feel free to ask any anime. Um, anything you, you want to discuss, feel free. Um, so the first question... Is culture appropriation versus cultural appreciation. So these are almost the anti- well, they basically are the antithesis of each other. Um, but a lot of people mm-hmm. don't really understand specifically what culture appropriation is. So I'll discuss it um, first. So the term culture appropriation, I would say, has an unnecessarily wide blanket as far as its semantic meaning is concerned, specifically with the ideological left or the woke left, whatever you want to call them. The only time mm-hmm. I would deem this term appropriate to use would be if a group or individual is intentionally and blatantly being disrespectful in adopting the culture or traditions of any such head culture. That's the only time I think is appropriate to even use that term. Um, but continuing on. Now, culture appreciation, ironically, should have a wider blanket to me. It's not really widely used, um, especially by the woke uh, left ideologues. Uh, but continuing on. As far as its respective semantic meaning, like I said, it should have a wider blanket. There are many ways, uh, far and fast, to appreciate the culture of any such shit culture in question. However, as we all know, the term that serves as virtual signaling, which is culture appreciation, is widely used as virtual signaling ammo. Um, and it allows people to deem themselves virtuous while judging others, which seems to be a fan favorite practice amongst the ideological left. So um, that's what I would say about both of those. And their differences. Yes, yes. I mean, I, I agree completely. Um, you know, it's ironic how cultural appropriation is utilized um, on a very nuanced way. You know, uh, there's a lot of monopolized markets. You know, selling uh, T-shirts or a garb that you know has you know cultural um, significances behind them, and they use that to exploit it, being trendy or hip, if you will. And a lot of people, you know, fall to that because. Everyone wants to, you know, have like their tribe or their clique, if you will. And because people they like dress a certain way or appreciate things or actually rather appropriate in this instance, they yep. think it's uh, fair to do the same thing. And so you, you're not really appreciating the culture. You're just taking certain things that make your own persona attractive and then using that to, you know, exploit uh, your persona, you know, create a facade, if you will. And so in that instance, it, it's, it's pretty um, unfortunate because a lot of people don't realize what they're doing when they uh, enable this behavior to begin with, you know. And so this is why companies like Walmart are selling, like, you know, Native American shirts or things of that instance, you know. Um, it, it's simply a ploy to just catch up to whatever people are liking. Um, there's a, a, certainly a difference between appreciation where, like, you know, you want to go to different um, – nations or countries to appreciate their ideologies or their culture or their way of living yeah. and adopt those ideologies to, uh, you know, create a consensus of your own thoughts and your own demographic and where you came from. So, yeah. Um, yeah. It's just unfortunate that a lot of people don't see that. And it's, um, it's, it's really fake. To I be agree. Honest. I agree. It's definitely just uh, ammo people like to use for virtual, for virtual signaling and to feel like self-righteous, it seems like that's a drug that people enjoy. Um, feeling self-righteous, feeling like they're cleaning up house, so to speak, when in reality they're just looking very uh, nonsensical with the, the way they use, throw these terms around, like cultural appropriation. It's very, uh, it's very unnecessary in most cases. Obviously, there's cases where it is very fitting, but I think that word's thrown around way too much, um, and it's oversaturated in online forms. I, I agree, yeah. yeah. Again, people don't really understand the, the connotations that that word implies, yeah. you know what I mean? So Exactly. Um, Definitely. I feel like Akira beats that Kimpachi, yeah. Uh, 
How would he lose to Kokoro if Aizen feared the possibility of Kenpachi beating him? That's not what he was afraid of. He was afraid of what he could do. Um, exactly, if, it's potential. Because yeah. he knew about uh, Unahana. And, yeah. You know what I mean? Minato slaps. Uh, Minato versus a war arc, five Kage. Minato probably win, yeah. More more than likely, at least. It, the most contentious part would be, uh, you know, Onuki uh, amping the speed of the Rei Kage. That might be problematic, but... Especially if he's might gonna, be. Yeah, it might be problematic. Um, but yeah, so that was the first IRL question. By the way, folks, if you have any, feel free to ask. Uh, anime, IRL, politics, whatever the hell. Uh, we answer any and all. Uh, thoughts on AI and what it what if it fuses with Metaverse, for example, people using an app to get a girlfriend to make friends, but it is not real. You know, I don't see that's out of the question. Uh, I think AI is a powerful tool to substitute for real life interaction. What I think is actually a dangerous precedent. I don't think that's a good thing. It'll um, mm-hmm. It'll eliminate a lot of human interaction. It'll eliminate the necessity for genuine human interaction as well. On the internet's already doing that with social media. First of all, um, the basically the, yeah yeah the true genuineness of interactions is a dying breed in the modern world, um, especially amongst younger individuals who have you know the power of the internet at their fingertips. All they know is the internet, um, especially younger generations. So mm-hmm. AI is just going to further reinforce that the incentive to not even interact. Um, what also comes with that is the ability to have a lack of accountability for your actions. You can just be on Discord, call someone a piece of shit, and turn it off. Um, in the real world, you'll get slapped if you say that to somebody. Um, it doesn't work yep. the same. You're not going to have that kind of energy in front of someone's face, especially if you're a grown man. Um, so that removes all that. That doesn't exist. The whole dichotomy is vanquished because of the internet so i do think ai will only further deepen that problem and that's very uh very 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 bad thing i'll say that um but yeah let's see here next question by the way folks you have any questions for free to ask uh let's see technolo- technological advancements and their re- relations with today's tribalism or click or click behavioral trends so Technology and technological advancements in general has certainly been one hell of a catalyst, I'd say, an incentive for the populace uh, to Mm -hmm. buckle down on their ideological stances and to embed themselves more so into their preferred tribes and echo chambers. So echo chambers are more rampant, more than ever, I'd say, while conversely, independent thinking is as rare as ever in a dying breed, uh, unironically. With any such said thought being able to be communicated in an instant in today's modern society, many individuals go out of their way to seek approval from their tribe with methods such as virtue signaling, which I discussed earlier, to receive that dopamine experience that most humans uh, hunger for every day. So technology, basically what I said in the last uh, tangent, is just deepening tribalism. Uh, It's incentivizing tribalism. And it's creating echo chambers at a quicker rate than ever before. Um, and these echo chambers yeah. are easier to Absolutely. manage because you don't have to worry about physical violence or physical repercussions. You could just block somebody. Uh, you could just ignore somebody. You could just turn yeah. off your fucking phone. Um, you can't do that in the real world. In the real world, you get slapped. You get dealt with if you're you know, hostile. That's not the way the real world works. Um, and for most people that are unaware of how the real world works, the real world isn't the internet. Most people are actually decent individuals i'd say um the majority of them at least are good people um and that's not the real world so get some fresh air if that's what you think the real world is that's all i gotta say about that but yeah that's yeah what absolutely I, I agree completely like um i mean you said it spot on definitely the internet being so abundant as it is nowadays especially in our generation you know it's it's changed definitely in let's say 20 years now you know yep. um so just even that is it's prompted a lot of uh you know, like-minded individuals to be able to communicate with one another quite easily. Um, and that therefore creates, um, you know, a level of, you know, main feeds or pages or events or whatever it may be that people like or gather to. And they, you know, they see people like dress a certain way or um, act a certain way yep. or, you know, post certain things. And so it, again, it goes back to people wanting to fit in, right? You exactly. Know I mean? And exactly. so that goes back to the whole tribalism. Um, behavioral patterns you know so unfortunately the internet creates a facade that people can hide behind quite easily and it's very tempting to those that don't have as much confidence or that drive to just you know be themselves whether it be on the internet or in real life you know exactly um 
so yeah, it's it's just interesting. Um, it's made it a lot of it's made it easier for those that act those in real life, and um, and these echo chambers that Jay was talking about, they're they're large. You know what I mean? There's like thousands of people upon thousands. Yep. You know, voicing their opinions and acting the same way and thinking that their way is the right way, and we see it in many different, um, uh, you know, things. That, yeah, you can. There's a plethora of examples, but uh, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Batman, do you have thoughts on that, or if you have any? Yeah. Um. So you know, basically in a nutshell, like the the best advice I can really give, because I, I feel like they they've said it pretty pretty well. Um, for the most part is you know you, you guys you guys guys understand the difference between the internet and the real world the way it operates and just how it is like you need to just go outside and get some fresh air like i'm telling you right now like it, it makes a big big difference of Absolutely. just taking the time to walk outside go interact with people socialize go to a bar if you're old enough whatever you name it etc it's a whole different experience it's not the same at all the internet you know it's it's basically um filtered in in many different ways and values it's just completely yep. different it's not the same yep. um there's no there's no sense of integrity or transparency really at all either um you don't really get to know somebody unless you're actually in person with them not just over the internet or in dms etc cetera, etc cetera. it's just once again like there's just so much so much uh you know different value between the two and there's, there's pros and cons between the two obviously as well but at the end of the day uh, when it comes to the real world that's that's the only way you're really going to ever grow as a person really really understand things um, et cetera. The the whole aspect and point of the internet is to to benefit from what it can give us to what we can't really utilize in the real world, if that yep. makes sense. You know what I mean? Exactly. When it com- when it comes to like constant communication or documentation purposes or business, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Those are the things that it's like all the pluses and it's like, yeah, that's what it's here, it's what it's for. But when it comes to like all the other values as of like how to grow as a person, how to communicate, how the world really works, et cetera, et cetera, that is not what you do on the internet. That's exactly. that's, the, that's what you're not supposed to be doing, period. Yeah. You're, you guys just gonna do the opposite. You're gonna you're gonna learn the hard way. And uh most importantly, if you act the way you act on the internet in the real world too, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're gonna, gonna learn, bro. You get slapped. Right that's now, what's so. No, I I agree completely, so, bro. Like uh, it's, it's that an accentuation towards your life, not something you're supposed to be relying upon. Exactly. And, like you're saying, like go go out, make some actual connections, because I I can guarantee. And it's good for it. mental health, man. It's yep, really yeah, yep. Do not stay on the fucking internet, guys. Or just stay at home playing it. Like I'm telling you, bro. Because you can get along with someone on the internet, or like, yeah. even yeah. in real life. But like, how many people can you actually call like your ride or die homie? You know what I mean? Exactly. It's probably like less than a handful. Yep. And imagine yep. how that translates to people on the internet. So I mean, like, if you want to be a facade on the internet and be with your little tribe. I mean, that's cool as long as there's like some genuine you know, uh, prior prerequisites, you know, like make connections in real life first and then accentuate that connection with, you know, the internet and the tools at your disposal as well. Exactly. So. See, but that's why it's so bad too. That's why everything is so toxic or so, yeah, you know, ridiculous or just to the extreme or whatever because people are so dedicated and on the internet 24 fucking 7 or on Discord, 20, you know, whatever the case may be. Which once again, there's nothing wrong with it. Like what I'm saying, guys, is you can be on Discord, you can do this, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But if that is like your whole life, and you don't like separate that from reality itself, you know what I mean? And give the breaks you need, etc. I'm telling you right now, you just—it's not going to be good for you. Yeah, you know I mean? Those it people will don't actively care influence about you. you. No, they it don't. It will negatively impact you. Um, there's nothing wrong with having online friends or people that you've never met in real life. Or whatever, that's fine too. I've have those. I even play with them. I vibe with them. Whatever you name it. Yeah. The fucking Jay and Shinobi is a perfect example. I don't know them in real life, you know, and but we're you know we vibe whatever, etc. Yeah. But once again, yeah, you're not going to see me here sitting on here 24 7 with jay or with shinobi exactly, and just yeah. talking all day or this like i would lose my fucking mind yeah okay it's... so you guys have to understand the balance between the two virtues it's extremely exactly. important balance and you might not be able to understand that now well. because maybe it's just your age or your you know or how young you are or your perception of things or whatever but as the older you get and the more reality starts embedding in your life you're going to understand what we're really uh, yeah particularly so essentially that. balance in all aspects is important every everybody's yes. equilibrium is different um everyone's homeostasis is different but you got to find yours and uh it's important to have that because if you have too much of anything it will be detrimental anything trust me yeah. Um, anything <laughs> yeah so Money. thoughts on chat gb gpt uh you could tell me what that is and i can give you my thoughts on it 
Milk or juice? Not sure about that. Milk or juice? Hey. Uh, milk or juice? Mm. Milk or ju juice? juice? Probably juice. Yeah, no, I'm yeah. Sorry. yeah I don't milk. really drink milk anymore. Oh. Yeah. I yeah, I love juice. It's just so freaking high in juice sugar. Is so good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Getting juice the right kind of juice is key. Though, those yeah, yeah. It's so refreshing. Um, I, love it. I, know, I drink what, that all day. What if Minato like... never died? What uh, could he have stopped the coup d'état if Itachi and Obito didn't kill the Uchiha? Obito with the Akashi would be in some trouble to get Naruto. Uh, we've di we've discussed this before, but I'll give a quick answer. But what happened is Minato would not allow the coup d'état. He would tell he would tell Donzo yeah. to shut the fuck up, and he would tell him, "I'm the I'm, I'm the Hokage. I'm not a bitch like Hiruzen. I'm not your bitch, and then things go my way. So fuck you. There's gonna be peace here. If not, I'll I'll eliminate you or imprison you. So that's what would happen. And he, and he would be unbiased as well. He yeah. would be giving perfect love to the Achiha and his. He's cutthroat. He doesn't no like he doesn't yeah. take shit. Yeah. Like he doesn't take fair. He doesn't do favoritism or any bias yeah. or bullshit. Like obviously his core value would always the prioritization will always be the village technically. Yep. That's what he swore. But because Minato is so good with people and mm -hmm. he's able to understand humans, you know what I mean? Like he, he, he kinda probably, has like that heart yeah. to heart talk with He would, he would well, probably he's go very well aware of the world, Yeah, he'd go talk to Fugaku personally and be like, Hey man, uh yeah, exactly. there's this issue. I don't want this to, you know, boil over, just let me know what's going on. And then Fugaku would be like, like It's Donzo, dude. Yeah. And then Donzo yeah. would be like, No, no, and he's like, No, nah, bro, I run shit here. Yeah, no, nah, yeah, he would shut that I'm the shit leader. down. He would, yeah. he would pull what Itachi did to Donzo. Yeah, and when he'd Itachi be like, listen. Like, fucking, he went up to him and said, hey, you little bitch. You do yeah. anything, blah, blah, or lay a finger on Sasuke, I'll do all this. Exactly. This, this, he'd this, probably this. tell him, like, That's listen. Like LG check. He's like, he's like, he'll be like, listen, dude. If you and your little foundation do anything, you're all fucked. I'll slice you all down. So shut the fuck up and you follow my lead, motherfucker. So that's what he would tell him. Um, and yeah, there would be no yeah. kind of, there would be no code at all. Uh, Obito, yeah, Obito would have to get to team up with Pain to go get Naruto. If oh, you mean if Minato's around, oh yeah, Obito, Obito would be much more hesitant to do that. Um, and plus, Itachi would probably stay in the village. He'd have, he'd have to deal with Itachi and Minato, so I doubt he'd want to do that. Yeah, yeah, like I don't know, like that would be really risky because you guys gotta understand. Remember, we're not talking about the Minato that just fought kid obito and then now is dead like we're yeah. talking about a minute so that's growing he'd probably be even stronger well. yeah he'd be even stronger grown man so yeah. obito is gonna keep that it, he's gonna too. keep that in mind he's gonna be you know like he'll plan a lot more better whatever but if 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 we're really going in that direction that's if which i don't think he would ever do that that would be out of um out of character for obito yeah he Ooh. saw how fucking passive he was when Very you know passive. Itachi was kind of the main stepping stone yeah. for him to not really do anything so it, when you the only way I could see, like, if they're going to go that route, they would have to bring the whole fucking Akatsuki. Probably, to yeah. Fuck with him. It's not going like, to bring all him, pain fucking pain. pain. You have to bring him, yeah. pain, Kisame, everybody, to even, like, for him everybody. to be comfortable. It, to even yeah. stand a chance. Yeah, know? and even so, then, Itachi in his prime and fucking Minato, like, they're... Minato, uh, like, you know. yeah. <laughs> Good luck, buddy. And Sasuke with, like, proper development. Naruto growing up with his father. Naruto's like, going to have even greater development. Like, yeah, and to add to this as well, guys, to where, regardless of however you feel with the filler or whatever, etc., okay, Kishimoto, like, in a sense, gave us some type of way to maybe understand how things would have been if Minato never died or whatever. And it's during Sanadi's dream. And basically everything we just said is what happens in that dream. Yeah. It's like there's no Kubata, like the Chia are alive. Sasuke's training under Shishui and Itachi. Uh, Naruto's even more of a fucking prodigy and really gifted as a ninja because his father's there. Yep. Like Naruto and Sasuke still have the rivalry, but you know, it's it's more contained, etc. Yeah. And no matter what, it's just things are just more greater and more beneficial. Yeah, Minato you know would I mean? be the beacon that the Konoha so, always needed, so... Uh, for some reason, I find yeah. it funny when Jace has no integrity. Oh, you mean when I was when I was ragging on that fucking loser, Seth? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to say that. Uh, <laughs> you're the fucking loser. If Black Flames is the highest level of fire release, do you guys have any headcanons of what the other four basic elements' highest level would be? That's a good question. So Black Flames is the fire's highest level. Yeah, because, yeah, we've never seen. That's the problem. Yeah. We've never wind? Seen Maybe like a fucking hurricane answer. force wind or something? Um like Tamari's would be some of the highest wind levels we've seen, or Naruto's Russian Shuriken. Um, yeah. Uh, for water, I mean, water's water. Yeah. You know, water but, but if they're just talking about nature by itself, so rising rising gun wouldn't count. That's like an upgrade on top of the nature. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Uh, um, but like, but if we we could we could like kind of uh, captivate on that though to hint to what wind would be, because when Naruto does master wind nature, you know, and whatnot, and he's doing his whole thing, it turns into like a whole fucking you know. Like a crazy wind, whirlwind, you know, shuriken type thing. So maybe like 
if it's just the element, it, yeah, it'd probably be what Jay said. Like, it could be some crazy ass like vortex hurricane or tornado. Yeah, probably. You know, um, or... water, water. The difference, wa- the yeah. difference between like a normal fire style jutsu and Amaterasu is quite significant, though. So, like, yeah, yeah, that's the, the thing. penultimate like uh, wind, nature, or water chakra jutsu would have to be something like on that level. It's yeah, hard like, to just, like mystical, you know, like, like a like, power like, of like mystical proportion. It'd be like, yeah water that could like topple down a city or some sh- i don't know it'd be something weird like that um <laughs> yeah lightning kieran's pretty pretty broken i would uh, say kieran would be yeah for the uh, for lightning stuff that would be lightning the and then uh earth uh probably like the like meteor you know, yeah yeah like fucking uh modern throwing meteors at a fucking at the fucking battleground or see, something like that now now i'm thinking about it jake because I don't think that there's really any information we have to extrapolate from anything, but oh no, yeah, like, not really. But, but like, but we're referring to like the the black flames. Is that a possibility where it's just like a, a straight up upgrade fire nature? There's nothing but hacks, and that's why it's the strongest. Whatever black, or is it a possibility that like it is is a combination of multiple natures, kind of similar to particle style? I doubt it. You know what I mean? It, it, yeah, just, yeah, it just seems like it's the epitome of fire release and that only exactly. right? yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah it's like, like, a, that's that's like there's nothing time, to hint just... towards that you know either so yeah it, that's what I'm saying. yeah it's like a fire beyond uh temperatures that any any human in the real world could ever understand it's like yeah temperature yeah, of the, 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 the sun like or the, something the fucking the sun yeah, yeah. Like the... <laughs> and that's like millions yeah, of degrees and hot Amaterasu is also the name of the the goddess of the sun too yeah so. exactly yeah. um is the goddess of the moon yeah. yeah. Well, um. If in the Akoski Obito is the only one who could beat Minato no need KCM. Yeah, he probably would be the only one that would have the best chance because Penny and Itachi get clapped. Minato is too fast for both of them. Well, even that's contentious, but yeah. Obito <laughs> <get> straight clapped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they get clapped, but yeah, I think Obito would probably um, have the best odds. Yeah. Yeah, like another thing too, since we brought up the whole Matarazzi like being pure, like fire, all out, you know, shit, like. I wonder, like, I've always cut. Ca- I hope Boruto eventually shows it. Yeah. But there was the other two little concepts that I really hope eventually is shown or emphasized more. Like, because we see with, like, where with Anoki, it's like, what, three? Uh, Kinkagenga, whatever, like, to, like. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, Kinkai yeah, Tota. Like, you know, yeah. like, I wonder, yeah, like, I wonder what would happen if, like, and that's like combining certain natures, you know what I mean? So, right. like, I, I, I do yeah. really wonder. Like, I hope eventually, like, they can show like what happens, like if fire and water mix, and this and this and this and it. Like, cause that's always interesting to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm always, yeah. Like, really for sure. curious. Unfortunately, though, um, with the current trajectory, it's like they don't really give a shit about ninjutsu anymore. It's like yeah, know, they all. don't. Like, it's even all about genjutsu, they're yeah, even genjutsu. <laughs> never, you never even see that anymore. It's irrelevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like uh, like you'll, maybe anymore. maybe they'll do something like that with shin, shinjutsu, which I definitely would not be surprised by because it's so broken. With, like the cybernetic eyeballs are what, what about themselves, exactly. even, even they would never they would probably never do this either but even the rising on like what would a fire rising on be what would a water oh, yeah. one be like we see what wind is but you know what i mean like we know what lightning is too so we, yeah. we know what lightning and wind is but we don't know what the um, other ones are like so like that's what i'm saying like things like that that will be really cool yeah um but you know it's just uh, I, I don't even think we'd ever get to that point didn't we see like the uh amaterasu and like uh it was like a store like inferno release like uh, yes. Rock and with Kurgan. with sasuke yeah. Yeah. oh yeah with sasuke yeah. and naruto yeah, yeah we did see that sir g thanks that's for the 10 bucks cool. brother appreciate that Y'all sir goats go, appreciate go, that go. um sir goat with it if naruto and ems sasuke swapped places and sasuke fought edo third rate kage instead how would sasuke do I think what he would do is he would probably spam Amaterasu all over his body and eventually it would hit his scar and he'd be fucked. Um, mm-hmm. That's probably what would happen. Um, so he probably yeah. would get it. Or he would deduce, um, maybe that one guy that helped uh, Naruto deduce the scar, he would use like an Inferno flame style, a flame style spear and throw it at his scar or something like that. Um, I, something like I that. will say this. Susano Arrow um, GG. Yeah. Yeah, like, I, I, what we do know for a matter of fact is as crazy as this is, like, we know Shinori has more piercing ability compared to the Rising On. Yep. Like, the Rising On is stronger, which is weird because, like, the Rising On doesn't do anything to the Raikage, and it doesn't do anything to, uh, like, to, you know, even like the Rising Shuriken didn't, like, do yeah, anything. Yeah, it didn't. Which is yeah. crazy. So, but, like, but, but Lightning, though, like, aka his spear could go through it, and also Sasuke Shidori could go through the fourth Raikage's armor, make yep. him bleed. So, like, so if we take that, and you know, with that information provided, if Sasuke does, like, a, like, it's, it's, it's arguable with just his normal Shidori, 
like if it hits a scar that it would you know probably you know do whatever yeah. blah blah but if he's putting like a moderatsu on that or if he's doing like a, a you know the arrow um with his susana with like shinori mm -hmm. on top of it or a moderatsu i think that shit's going right through his bitch ass like with oh, the yeah, spear you know I, what I mean? if anything like, yeah. And, and, yeah what would yeah. happen is he would deduce uh the physical like close quarter threat the third presents he would definitely uh keep yeah. it at long distance he'd probably talk to the guy that naruto talked to He's like, yeah, he has a scar there for finding the eight tails, and he's like, okay, let me fire a fucking arrow right into it. He's like, and, bad, uh, bro. That sounds yeah. and like, and we know he has more piercing ability with just a Shidori alone yeah. compared to the Rising Shuriken and Rising. Like, I'm not saying Shidori is stronger than that. That's blatantly not true. Like, if they were to clash, Sasuke would lose, you know. But it's it does have more piercing, and so meaning yeah. therefore he should be able to pierce through it. Oh yeah. Well. Yeah, his AP the would be more than is, enough. Yeah, yeah. And, and if he sees the scar, like he's gonna be like, "Oh, he has a scar. Right, let me let me shove my strongest Shidori or strongest ninjutsu right there, and that should do the trick." Yeah, yeah. he you probably know, would so. get that. He probably would hit that for sure. Yeah. Yeah, he would be fast enough to pierce him with Chidori. He could gan do to him. He yeah. Freaking. Um, I mean, even like, like, like five said, but five was, Kage Summon Sasuke reacted to the fourth third Kage, who I would deduce is faster than the third. So I don't think he'd have pr trouble reacting to the third. He is an yeah. Edo Tensei though, which is the only thing that's kind of. That's yeah. the only yeah, it's the only thing. He'd have to figure out the scar thing quickly like Naruto did. Um Well, it's shit. If you want if you want to make it if you want to even be more ridiculous to that. So like the third Raikage is an Edo, right? So it's weaker. And then Casey and Naruto, he's a shadow clone. And so the reason why that's kinda of important is because that's only a fucking shadow. Like, he's not even fighting like the full power. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like so like you have that too, which is kinda of like kind of bad for the third Raikage in a sense because he's fighting a shadow clone technically i know you could pull the whole argument of like chakra control whatever blah blah which i'm not saying that's not the case either but the problem is what we do know technically is that like shadow clones are equal to water clones of zabaza and water clones are one tenth of the original fucking power you know what i mean um and kakashi's like if i do a shadow clone and Zab zabaza would just do a water clone so meaning we know that they're relative in a me in a sense you know shadow clones to water clones so if you do all that and connect the dots, Raik the third Raikage is fighting like a one-tenth of a fucking case yeah. clone, basically. He's definitely sense. fatigued. And he's Edo. Yeah. He's definitely you know fatigued. I mean? and, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know what I mean? And he's fatigued, too. So it's like all those handicaps, and he's still struggling, and and still technically being bitched in a way, too. He just could tank all the attacks. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So Full like, power in Masasuke, it, it just yeah. Doesn't look, it doesn't look good for third Raikage. When you really analyze everything, it doesn't Yeah, it was a fatigued Naruto that you know? was spreading himself thin, was sending clones everywhere. He had to use Sage yeah. mode, uh, probably because he was fatigued and he had to absorb nature energy. Mm -hmm. And even then, he was struggling to catch Naruto. So, it, more like, than He did dodge a couple times. I will give him that. You know what I mean? But then yeah. eventually, he gets he gets hit like twice, I believe. You know? So, yeah, not yeah. Sasuke would deal with that, I would say. Uh, it wouldn't be super difficult either. Um, is there some kind of... Yeah, the only but... way you can gas up the third Raikage is like when when Naruto like says, wow, he's he's like, yeah, I know, Raikages are always as fast and he thinks of when he's fighting the fourth Raikage, so a lot of people try to like connect yeah, those I mean, two and say they're in the same scaling or whatever. You'd have, to, you'd have to negate his eight tail scaling though if you want to do that because he doesn't look good yeah. when he's scaling to the eight tails, but yeah, exactly. it, it, Sasuke more than likely wins that. Um. I gotta go yeah, take it easy. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Sir Jeets. Once again, appreciate all the donations, Sir Goats. Appreciate that, brother. Thank you, bud. I wonder uh, how strong a full power third right Kage would be. Uh, you know I mean, like, like, I know yeah, we have the whole eight kill stuff, and that's that's the only thing we can really, you know, strap yeah, unfortunately. Was. But, like, yeah. I wonder, like, the difference I, of, like, how he would be, you know. But... Yeah, I don't think he'd be much stronger. Um, But he would be stronger, though. But I don't think by much. I yeah, think yeah, they're, of like, course. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's some kind of hierarchy. Or level of better debate, uh, of better argument of the kinds of evidence in an anime debate. Example is rational argument over emotional headcanon uh, or empirical evidence versus author's words. So if I had to establish a hierarchy for anime debates, uh, the most valid and accurate type of argument would be an all-around very valid piece of empirical evidence. One that, one, stated by the data books, to co which also coincides with the narrative, which also yeah. coincides with the feats accomplished. That's probably one of the best... Uh, reasons of logic to use in an anime yeah, debate. If, if, Those, it's, if it's a triangle and connects, that, that's the yeah, strongest th that's, evidence to ever have yeah, an anime, period. Yeah, and that's essentially damn near absolute. Um, yeah. That's probably the strongest, very strongest piece of evidence you can utilize. Um, so if you can use that train of thought, definitely default to that whenever you can. Unfortunately, yeah, that will it, always, always give you the edge because yeah. it's like, it, it's just, you know, it's like, like there's no contradictions. It's all connects. And yeah. It's like, bam, you're good. And you know unfortunately, I mean? 
in the most contentious of topics, you usually don't have that option. Um, no. So yeah, after no. that, uh, imp- I would say for the most part, empiricism uh, ration- uh, triumphs over rationalism for the most part. Um, like yeah. Itachi versus pain, the only p- possible piece of evidence we have is uh, Itachi blitzing pain, and people don't like to take that uh, into consideration, but that's the only piece of empirical evidence we have. Um, you can't yeah. necessarily not, whether I'm you like it or not, job. that's the case. Yeah. Um, so... Yeah, and the only thing you can, can do you for can pain is semantics all day, variables yeah. all day, you and, know, whatever. And but the only thing for pain is, it, yeah. yeah, for me personally, the only thing for pain is rational arguments. There's nothing for it yeah. to, to it's just rational. It's just nitpicking yeah. all the semantics or the so, variables or the conditions. Yeah. Yeah. So after a this blatantly strong piece of empirical evidence, I would say more vague piece of empirical evidence would triumph over a rational one. Uh, then after that, if empiricism is damn near uh, like zero. Then you got to go to rational arguments. Um, that would probably be the third strongest. That all comes down to your talent, uh, your talent, your idea, your ability to deduce uh, things from just nuanced pieces of detail um, yeah. as well. That's difficult. You got to train yourself to become better at that. that. Um, if you're good enough, question, though. that's a good question. Yeah. Yeah, so. If you're good enough, you could defeat somebody that only has empirical evidence. Um, if it's vague. You could defeat somebody and you could just yeah. outwit them to the point where they're it trapped in a corner. Yeah. And I've seen that. It, it's it's similar with the Itachi and Nagato. Fight, like, of those yeah. two totally. fighting against, like, like, if you're good enough, you know what I mean, and you're debating whatever, you could be able to, like, really analyze and whatever and then be like, oh, this, this, the, re- the reason why this Itachi speed blitz doesn't work is due to X and Y and Z and whatever and go on and on. And on. Yeah, so after so that. it's possible to make it work, but, you know. Yeah, after that, There's I would say. For both, though. So yeah, it's one of there's the definitely arguments for both, that. and uh, you'd have to yeah. be a, a, two good debaters could definitely have a discussion about that. Uh, but I would say yeah. after after rationalism, I would say you'd have to start going to the more invalid versions of logic. Not invalid, but the less uh, reliable versions of logic, like induction, abduction. Like, don't you, be taking shit hyper literally 24 fucking yeah. 7 to. So you know, induction, induction is basically when you have a limited set of data. Um, that might not even relate to the exact thing that you're pinpointing and you try to make an argument from other common sets that are available. Um, you got to be pretty good at, I would say, you're going to be pretty good at logic and your rhetoric as well to create these kind of arguments. They're almost from, not I wouldn't say thin air, but they're hard to deduce if you don't know, if you're not very well versed in that. Abduction is even less uh, reliable. That's an even less reliable way to d- use logic. Um, yeah. And then the weakest ways would be fucking headcanon. Uh, pure speculation. Um, oh, and Lord. The lowest Lord level Lord. is ratting. Probably ratting and disingenuity. Sophism. Um, yeah. Sophist are... tactics, yeah. Sophist tactics. Unless you're a good sophist, then maybe you could defeat a... Yep. You could defeat a novice debater. So... Like, what what I will say, I think we, what we can all agree for the most part, and Jay, like, probably said it the most easiest way you possibly could say it. Like, that was a really good way to analyze and explain it yeah. in a nutshell. But what we can all agree with is if it's not as obvious as, like, kids soccer versus Madara, you know what I mean, to, like, that value, you know, then, you know, if you have that and you can't do that or whatever, it's, like, to that extent, then the only other thing you could do is what basically everything Jay just said, you know. And the most important thing to really focus on is that triangle aspect to where if you analyze the data books, the narrative to make sure it, you know, coexists with that as well. And the feats also support where there's like no contradictions, nothing. And it's all kind of just, you know, stick and stone. That's the best way to go for it nine out of 10 times. And I mean, if you could do that, or if it's as simple as like kids are versus Madara, shit like that, then great. You'll be good. That's the best way to go about it. But if it's not, which for the most part, like Jay said, the contentious stuff, you name it, you just, you got to kind of prioritize the ones that have higher value. That's, that's yeah. all you can do. Exactly. You know? So, Debating is sort of putting on a performance and I would say I would call it the virtual court of law where you try to give the more uh, the more I would say the word I'm looking for legitimate argument and the jury decides who had the better argument based off the factors that you present. So a lot of things take also, practice. So, yeah. Yeah. Also, I just want to say like um, with empirical evidence and rationalizations and deductions, um, you need to realize that people are going to come up with their own counter arguments yep. and bring upon yes. their own empirical evidence. So you need to think ahead of time and try to like um, establish empirical Be data prepared. to, yeah. to yeah. Um, negate those counter uh, arguments, if you will, as well. So yeah, you have to be um, you have to support your notions of not only your own data but support the re- uh, the counter uh, counter attacks that your opponent will present. Yeah, what well, you're so, go- yeah, yeah, what you're gonna want to do to steel man 
uh, Shinobi's uh, claim essentially is steel man the counter arguments that may present themselves against your own argument, and that yeah, way you, you make... should you should be aware like like friend like if you're let's say you're doing like pain in Itachi and you know you you're gonna say Itachi or whatever right, but you yeah. should still be aware like if you were arguing for pain, what would you think? What would you know what I mean like what would you you know this and that because if you're aware of those arguments and you're aware mm -hmm. of you know that type of notions etc like what Shinobi and Jay is saying. That's going to give you even more of an advantage because you're knowing what to expect, basically, and you're going to know you're going to be able to counter it more effectively and be able to really deduce the whys and the knows of why that can't really work or why that's more weaker in comparison to your yeah. arguments. So essentially, yeah, yeah, creating the most airtight uh, defense or argument that you could possibly create is the goal. Um, it's what Batman does, for being real. Like, yeah. like he's a perfect <laughs> example. Batman, he he's well aware of his opponent's abilities, their powers. He knows what to expect, what they're going to do, how they think, etc. Like, if you're able to understand those aspects and conditions, yeah. that's going to tremendously help you, especially if you're going against that. Yeah, and the that's thing with anime saying. debates, I would say, if you're debating very contentious topics, every yeah. every minuscule detail matters. Um, even something as it minuscule does, as yeah. a single word or whatever the case may be. Could be the difference oh yeah and winning or losing another thing yeah. that's really important though jay which this is also kind of important because even if you take all this into consideration and you do it to the t or whatever and you do everything you're supposed to do another problem though okay is unfortunately even if you do everything right and you're saying everything whatever it, it the audience can dictate um you know a, an, an imbalance of like integrity or whether basically who would actually got it or whatever if that like, i'm not i don't know if that makes sense but what yeah, i'm basically totally. saying is yeah. you have you have a, a category of people that are the rational you know type of uh, debaters and you have mm -hmm. a category of people that they're the empirical type debaters and you have a category of this and this and so since there's such a mix and blend of that in the dis in the debating community you know what i mean whoever your audience is even if you're doing really well with these arguments or etc and this and that they're going to still come to their basically their narrative of decisioning and judgment nine out of ten times because of what basically makes more sense to them too that's true So like basically what, what i'm basically saying the sad reality of it even if you technically do what makes more sense what's more pos possible etc cetera, etc cetera, you know what i mean that's one of the values that's just never really going to change unfortunately and you're still going to have people that are gonna, just going to think their way regardless of what you said if that does make sense maybe jay can explain that a little yeah. better because that's the first problem the second is obviously people being biased the third would be like favoritism and shit like that yeah essentially so, when you're debating you want to set up the parameters to where it's an equal playing field you don't want judges that are biased you don't want judges that have a very i would say narrow perspective on things so that's going to put exactly. you at a disadvantage um that is why if, if you're like a prominent debater like myself i try to meet in a neutral location with neutral judges i don't try to have friends on either side of, of the coin judge yeah. because things are not going to go in your favor um that's something i definitely try to emphasize on if i'm debating somebody is it's going to be in a neutral battlefield with neutral judges as simple as that mm -hmm. um so that's very important. It's really as well. important. It's really, really important yeah. because, like I said, you could do it all right, but if you have judges, regardless if they're biased or favoritism, I'll just get that out of the window. But let's say they're more in this, you know, aspect of you know rationalization or, or empirical evidence, whatever the case may be. If that's just how they mainly are when it comes to them analyzing Naruto, or whatever, you could say all these good arguments or be winning whatever all you want, and they're gonna still be like, oh no, he got it because their arguments or reasoning sides more with their mentality. If that One sides is what I think is You know what I mean? That it's definitely that's, true. That, that's how it is in life. You know what I mean? Like when you have people that are on about whether they believe in abortion, it's the same concept, you know? Yeah. So that's just something you got to be unaware. I know it's it's annoying, that sucks, and the equity aspect of that is, is pure stupid, but that's how it works, you know? so Definitely true. Um, that's definitely always going to be a factor. It's uh, subjective yeah. lenses will always uh exist misconstrue in, the, the reality of it yeah, you know definitely misconstrue so the best course of action is just to become as logical as possible um yeah as an individual and um hope that you get a fair shake when you do engage in exactly. discourse so yeah folks it, it, there's a lot to it if you want to be a good debater um game is ass yeah but then again well that, that's why i'll say this don't take it so fucking seriously either yeah I mean, because you can tell this is not as simple as black and white you know what i mean like there's just so much to it you name it so like that's why you don't want to like stress yourself out about it you don't want to take it so seriously to the point where you're like you know becoming a bad person or addictive or whatever like you gotta like just be aware of these perspectives 
you know, take it, uh, you know, to the chin, or whatever, and just move on. That's it. Simple, yeah. You know. Um. What do you guys think uh, about six pass of pain versus a live Itachi? Uh, depends what you're talking about. Pain has more wins than not, in my opinion. Against Sekitachi, sure. Not against Prime, in my opinion. Edo Nagato versus Edo Itachi is way more contentious because Itachi had help from being KCM. Not necessarily. They only helped with the Chewbacca Tensei. He blitzed him on his own. Um, Pain has better doji to stamina and chakra than Itachi. Um, definitely against Sick Itachi for sure. That's why he takes well, the edge. Well, so the, the thing about like a healthy prime pain, he would be relative to Nagato, obviously. And we saw that, you know, a pretty exactly. much a prime healthy Nagato was going quite well against Casey and Naruto and B as well. So I don't think the speed would be too gargantuan between the two of them. Now, there are arguments for both, obviously. I mean, can Itachi blitz uh, pain or Nagato before Death Chewbacca Tensei? Um, can Itachi even Genji to him like we uh, described with the whole running on debate thing? That's another yeah. aspect. Um, and also the speed, like can Itachi just so uh, seal him with the Totsuka Blade or hit him with Amaterasu? You know, like the speed is very important in this matchup. Um, and then again, if Chewbacca Tensei is presented, uh, can we concretely say that Itachi can take it on by himself? That we can't. You know, yeah, for, so. for all we know, shit, fucking the Yadamir could just repel that shit. Like, yeah, that shit so those contentious matchups. <laughs> that's where, oh, yeah. that's why you're not to use a rational argument because they're they're inconclusive. But, so like, uh, you guys got to understand. You know what I mean, that the pain versus Atachi, like it's people like really think like it's not like legit, but like it is such a great, interesting battle. It really is. Yeah, it because is. Because oh, yeah, it's just it extremely is. contentious, and you can argue in so many ways for either or. It's not as simple as cut and dry as like this and this and that. You know what I mean? Now, um, what's it called? Like, bottom line is when it comes to like, if it's equal stats, it would make more sense because the, the basically the way it goes is people like to. There's two ways it goes. People either scale it in a way where they're equal to each other in a sense, or pain's a little bit more with the whole stamina chakra, et cetera, whatever, and then therefore pain can now just counter anything Atachi does, et cetera, et cetera, and then pain wins. That's the majority that normally go that route, or the other majority is Atachi skills way over, he just blitzes. That's all you have with this whole topic. It's that fucking simple. Yeah. You know and I mean, so everything else can be really contentious and all over, etc. You know what I mean? But like that the main simplification of it when it really boils down to how you put whoever who is those two settings right there. Yeah, and you unfortunately know, like, all the YouTube videos I've seen, you name it, it's always that direction. Every yeah, Unfortunately, uh, as much as people that are pain fans don't want to admit, empirically, there's just more for Itachi. Um, a live prime, whether you want to admit that or not, there's more for him. So, uh, Let's see what these people said. Best things to improve stamina? Well, aerobic exercises, clearly. Uh, running is probably the single greatest way. Uh, long yeah, distance. Cardio, yeah, yeah, cardio is very good. Um, how can you no, guys say Itachi would well. be pain? That doesn't make any sense, dude. That's weird. That's not a good rebuttal. That's pretty bad. Uh, do better. Huh? What do you say? You just said that's weird. Uh, that's not a good rebuttal. Do better, pal. Uh, by the way, I forgot to ask this for you guys. Or, but what was the first anime you guys watched? Mine was Inuyusha. Uh, for me, as a kid, I think the first one was Dragon Ball. Actually. Technically, for me, it was Pokemon. If you want to talk like anime, I'd say probably Dragon Ball Z as well. Yeah, yeah or just Dragon Ball. Yeah. I remember seeing that as a kid. Yeah. Um, and this healthy Itachi thing, healthy Itachi never existed in the verse yeah he did as an edo all we've seen with yeah itachi... we, we see him as an edo and then technically we see him when he fights against awesome kakashi you name it all we've seen like, with he, itachi... didn't, he didn't show any signs of sickness and he was just yeah. like doing some crazy feats he was on a whole other scaling or level and then he even perception blitz fucking kakashi which yeah. technically te all right how about this like all right forever was talking for pain because you know i love to gas up pain because i just love pain too but let's be real, like, how do you feel about this uh, then, the guy that was seen for pain? Atachi was able to perception blitz Kakashi while Kakashi, uh, while pain couldn't uh, perception blitz Kakashi. Instead, Kakashi read his movements, saw his kick coming, and ducked under and dodged it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'm just being real with you. You know what I mean? Um, so, like, yeah, like, things like that. It was but... a weaker pain, though, to be honest. It's true. You know? uh, all we've seen with Itachi, has been sick. Again, it's not a good rebuttal, dude. Um, uh, and then also for like the part one he taught you that we can safely say was healthy. Can we say that he was as proficient with his abilities as we saw in Shippuden, for example? Mm, I mean, I would I, say I don't know. I would say so, probably, but I can't. He's young. Really you could make an argument for either way. 
Um, yeah. Yeah. I would say. I'm just saying the perception blitz is something like no other fucking character like has kind of like really done in a way, which is really always intriguing to me. I'm not saying like therefore. Bro, it was a great time. Yeah. Oh, uh, I love One Piece too. Yeah, definitely. If you guys see uh, lagging issues, folks, sorry. I think my internet's slow. Perfect timing. Um, <laughs> always is, right? Yeah, it's at the perfect time. Uh, One Piece season two. All right, I think the stream is back. Let me see. Yeah, I just caught up on One Piece, man. It's actually getting really good now, finally. It was like a long, you know. Very, very long, yeah. <laughs> a lot of development there and just like all this unnecessary, you know, banter and all these side battles, but it's getting really good now. And I'm stoked. Oh, that's another thing. Since we were talking about uh, the MCU and everything before, what's it called? Uh, uh, did Jay, did you ever watch the Daredevil show and everything? The Daredevil show, yeah, yeah I saw. Most okay, of it, so uh... and you saw like him and She Hulk and whatnot. How did you feel with like those two differences though? Um... I felt it was more. It went from more like a realistic Daredevil to like a super superhuman Daredevil now. In my opinion, yeah. Daredevil that, to me, Daredevil as far as shows are compared is much better than She Hulk. Uh, she Hulk just had too. Oh many, yeah, like, for sure. Yeah, the show. Yeah, yeah. Had too many yeah. political talking points. I don't need to hear. Um, but. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, like, in comparison with the Daredevil from that show and to his show, like, oh, what was your um, like, how'd you feel about that? I thought it was interesting. It was cool. I didn't really have a problem with it. Uh, mm -hmm. He didn't change too much, so as far as how no, he yeah, looked no, in there, it was yeah. it was fine. But, yeah, the show to She-Hulk, I didn't really like it at all, so. Yeah, did you ever see Arrow 2? Like, no, the, that one I haven't Arrow seen. Show? I heard it's good, though. I heard that one's it's good. It's a really good show. Yeah, you definitely got to watch it. The only reason I was saying is because, uh, a lot of people always bring up like uh, Arrow and the Daredevil from his show, but that's a pretty contentious fight. Like, how would that really go and whatnot? So it's just oh, that would be an, that would be an interesting fight, actually. I did. I like if I had to pick, it, like I would say Daredevil and the martial arts side of things would probably still be better. Um, but like I say, it's just so contentious because like the martial arts with uh, with Green Arrow, he's really really good too. But Daredevil is just that's that, that's like his stick, you know. Um, yeah. Like, it's either Daredevil wins because he's great at martial arts or Gr Green Arrow would win due to, like, his intelligence and kind of pulling, like, a Batman and shooting, like, a fucking arrow to mess with his hearing type shit or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. You know, but because um, that arrow, he's, like, he's basically Batman but Green Arrow in that show. They they literally copied Batman. Oh, yeah. If he's and just that, that caliber. That's, that's what they did. Yeah. If yeah. he's that caliber, he might, he might have a chance against Daredevil then. It's just intelligence. Like it, it made it made me laugh. Like when I watched that whole show, I'm like, bro, am I watching Batman right now? Like, why the fuck did they make Oliver become Batman? Like, okay, yeah. but like that's basically all it is. It's just him with a bow and arrow. He, all his villains are from Batman as well. Um, and like he's very dark and broody, which is nothing like the comics either. Because in the comics, he's like Flash. He's always laughing, comical, you know, playing jokes. And he's, like, and he's like, yeah, and he's fucking trash in comparison to Batman too. Oh, so. No. Um, so yeah, so like that's basically what you got when you do watch the Arrow show, Jay. Just, yeah, I definitely, I definitely has piqued my interest. I need to check that show out, actually. I yeah, his acting is great. Good shows too. His acting is really good. Uh, I'll be right back so, though. If you guys want to answer questions, I'm just gonna take a piss. Sounds okay. good. I'll be right back. I just took one actually. Hey, 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 hey! Have we watched Clean War? I have not. What about you, Batman? I watched what? Uh, Claymore. Claymore, never heard of that. Yeah, oh. never have as well. Definitely. Uh, I, I can look see. it up real quick. Uh, what is it called again? Claymore. And then, what's your Claymore. favorite Marvel characters? Is that an animated series or? I think just in general. It looks like it's an anime. That's why. If it's an anime, oh. if it's an anime, then no, I have not seen that. It came yeah, out in two thousand seven. I haven't even heard of it to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Marvel characters, favorite one, probably. Uh, MCU or in comics or in general? Like, what do you mean? I think this, all oh, this, someone just said favorite Marvel characters. I think this is oh, general. Okay. That's Spider hard, man. For me, it's Yeah, Spider I can't go wrong with Spider Man, bro, definitely. Like, if I couldn't pick Spider Man, then maybe. Probably like Hulk or like Wolverine or. Hulk is a good one. Doctor um, Strange is neat. Wolverine's dude. good too. Uh, fucking. I always loved Venom. I thought he was really cool. Oh, Venom's dope. Yeah. I love his story. Definitely. Um, 
there's a lot of good characters in in Marvel. Like you, I can go all day every day. Like if I had a, like an order, but if I had a pick out of anybody, it's, it's Spider Man. I don't know. I just love Spider Man. He's cool. I just love the Iron Man movies back in the day, though, man. Yeah. Look at him. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably put those as my top for sure. I don't really watch much of Marvel and DC these days, though, to be honest, you know. And mostly anime. Hey, but guys, just remember, Jay believes Lee slams Sasuke and believes Itachi loses to pain. So, he was trolling before, by the way. He was just messing around. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, he, he's... He's a he's a pain. pain Itachi guy versus Lee pain, guy. though it's 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 yeah it's just one of those battles that unless we get more empirical data, you know, it's it, yeah. yeah, it really is interesting. Definitely, we haven't really seen a, a full healthy pain go at it before either. You know, wait, it, you uh, think Kakazu loses the pain? Come on, bro. Wait, you're right, you're right, you're right. What am I fucking saying? What? Help to come out with a Ninja Storm Five, bro. That would just be so gas, man. They're doing you know a collection. I mean? It's like a remastered of all of them, but it's just it's basically just buying all of them and playing them in order. That's all it is. <laughs> it probably sell well, to be honest. Yeah. Like I might get it just to like play and upload it on my YouTube channel. You know what I mean? Just for shits and giggles. But that that that'll probably be the only reason. Like I'm not like really looking forward to it, but it'd just be good to like get uh get through as like for content and stuff yeah so, really what's that buddy Paolo here is saying that he was sick already in part one he's always been sick so mm. what's the meaning of prime itachi uh, well, well, so when you're, yeah that's you can't the, technically know you can't prove that there's so arbit the, there's arbitrary see him pull up in the village technically yes that would be a prime healthy itachi because like that's literally like he shows no signs of coughing blood, nothing. There's, there's no sickness value from there. He's just basically shitting on everybody. Yeah, he, I, he, I, think he, the, I think the closest thing to Prime Itachi would just be like Edo. What we saw with Edo, but like, just, and like, there's not even a mention of sickness at that point too. Like there's there's no mention of it. He gets like, sick. It doesn't start getting mentioned until it put it. Yeah, he gets sicker yeah. over time. That's how it works. Um and either so that's way why we're saying you know like so it's it's understandable to say like either he wasn't sick at that point yet and he caught and he catches it later or even if he was sick it's just no like it's just nothing it's like you know yeah. I mean? it's not affecting him at all it's lagging again yeah sorry about that folks i think this shit is just slow right now hopefully it undoes it it undoes itself i'll try to figure that out why the internet is so shitty during these times um it happens, bro. And, Such a and technically, if we're if we're gonna gas up Itachi even more, even when he's at his worst, like fully, almost like nearly blind, on his deathbed, super sick, he's still doing crazy ass shit. No yeah. different Orochimaru, still fucking like effortlessly beating Sasuke and holding back to a severe degree. Like, like the man is still a monster. So like, yeah. I don't know. Like, I don't know what. Yeah. The Naruto, and what's... like you know, I mean the Naruto that shitted on Kaku and whatnot. Like, he just instant the... Genji to no diffs him, you know? Like, yeah, I think this guy is always saying this shit, though. Like, dude, just get over it. Like, Itachi can beat pain more than likely if he's healthy. Like, get over it, man. Like, it's not that hard like, to understand. You, you just yeah, gotta, you're saying it's absolutely in Itachi. Yeah, we're not, like, yeah, like you, but you just have to understand, like, you gotta at least be willing to be open minded to both perspectives. And technically, it, you know, with what everything Itachi has, you know, evidence wise, et cetera. If it was a healthy one or whatever, like yeah, he should probably scale over pain. It's it's a definitely believable impossibility wise. Like yeah. I'm the first one to always gas up pain or technically argue in favor for pain because I just prefer him to win. Um, but like this is being real, you know what I mean? Like Tachi's that guy. So yeah, yeah. He, there's he arguments for both sides. There. <laughs> yeah, there's arguments for both sides whether people like this guy want to accept that or not. Like we were like, discussing earlier with like debate tactics, like you have to go off of empirical data first and foremost. And then with pain, it's not only a lack of that, but it's more speculation or, or inductive rationalizations to prove the notion exactly. that he's stronger than he taught yeah, in the we, first We never place. get to so, see him at full power. Yeah. It's only in the games we get to see him at full power. I've given suggestions you know? for pain already. So like, I, I get it guys, trust me, but like based yeah. on what we know, this is what we're suggesting. That, that, that's exactly. all. Okay. I mean, like, so. The empirical evidence is against you if you're on pain side. Even despite how, like, how like, vague like and lack of evidence like, there is. 
Yeah, like me and Shinobi, and even Jay, if he wanted to, we could sit here all day and gas up pain and say millions of yeah. ways why he yeah. wins. And arguments for pain et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, we could do that all fucking day if we want. Like, we're not saying that's out of the question or, like, you know, whatever. But we're just putting it out there, and this is, most importantly, Jay's main take when it comes down to at the end of the day. Okay, he's already, like, said, you know, it's contentious, both whatever, yada, yada. But he said if he had to pick... He does believe with Itachi due to X and Y and Z. Like, yeah, there's nothing wrong with exactly. that. I don't understand so, why you're tripping about it. Yeah. <laughs> this dude's always... Like that, man. This dude's always tripping about it. I think he has, like, 10... Oh, uh, <laughs> like, get, a, get a grip, dude. I think he has, like, 10... This loser always comments on my shit, too. Like, bro, you have, like, 10 alternate accounts. Yeah. He's like, Jay, shut the fuck up. If you're really that serious, come... Yeah, like... Bro, you no have, he has like ten alternate accounts to fucking say the same shit like twenty times. Like I don't give a fuck. Oh, hey, hey, Jay, Jay, so Jay, uh, here, here's what yeah. here's what happens. He'll come through, okay? He'd be like, Jay, you're fucking dumb. Okay, all all pain would do is a mighty like fucking universe to pull his fucking eyes out of his fucking skull and just just slam that shit like he did yeah, to the if nail. Yeah, if you really think you're that like your argument's that foolproof, call on my call on show, bro. I guarantee you get your ass slapped. <laughs> so shut the fuck up. He just hey, annoys you know, me because you know every was, uh, video this retard like fucking comments on all my shit. Like, bro, get a fucking like. Wait, who loser. is it though? What's the name? This is I'm one of his accounts on. that I've seen. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's a fucking. This loser. is the guy that always like talking shit about the pain with Tachi thing. Yeah, he just runs his mouth. I'm like, bro, you're a fucking loser. You, you know, I brought that up one time on a stream, and like this guy was like, uh, not on a stream. It's like in a, I forget what was happening, but it was like in a debate type of thing going on. Oh yeah, uh -huh. it was somebody else debating Tachi versus pain. And then I just type like, you know, I'm like, you know, fuck this. Pain just rips his eyes out with, you know, a, a fucking universal pool, whatever, you know? Yeah, he can yeah, do it yeah. in nails. He can do it in fucking eyeballs, right? Yeah. And then there you go. Itachi loses dead. And there I just know. type that like I'm just trolling or whatever. And then everybody's like, oh, like they're all losing their mind because they didn't like think about that or some shit or whatever, which I'm be real with you. If it was that easy, I'm pretty sure pain would just do that to everybody. But um but anyways but like it was just funny to think about and everybody was like losing their shit about it yeah itachi versus pain will always be debatable for sure um despite this loser saying it's not um but going to the next topic and by the way the only reason guys if you guys are wondering why i'm mean to this loser is because he comments on like every video with different accounts talking shit so fuck this motherfucker um, oh, okay, okay. Uh, oh, he's, 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 a, he's, a, he's a obsessive soul. yeah and it's not even just pain of his itachi he just runs his mouth so fuck you Degenerate behavior? What? Yeah, I'm not gonna be nice to you if you're a fucking little like rat, little weasel talking <laughs> shit. Why do you gotta make ten accounts, bro? You good? Yeah. Fuck, fuck that loser. You, you know, you know how many emails, bro? Like this man's literally like making emails, going through that whole fucking step process that takes like about five to ten minutes to do it just to spite yeah. Jay. Like, yeah, look what he said, bro. Pain versus right. touch is not contentious. Oh my god, dude, you're fucking, you're a nuisance. Um, <laughs> yeah. come on my call and show, dude. You have you know, ten. You know it, brother. Yeah. If you have ten yeah. alternate accounts. Angus come. Slams if you have, if you have ten alternate accounts, come on my call and show. Let's see if you have the balls <laughs> to say that shit to my face, loser. Um, bro. Like, if you're gonna be that disingenuous and even say it's not contentious, like there's something wrong with yeah. you, bro. Not even the payments like, he taught you shit, but just all the shit he's talked. Like, if you have the balls, say it to my face, dude. I did, like, to say it's not contentious means it's uh, absolutely in pain favor. Are you being real, dog? Like, come on. Yeah, like shut your stupid ass up. Um, Dest okay, so back to IRL questions. If you guys have any anime questions, feel free to ask. Um, so this is destiny versus happenstance in day to day life. So what my thoughts are on it? Uh, if you compare the two, uh, this is what I'll say about that. It is clear that our universe in general is inherently chaotic. Uh, however, from my pers my subjective lens, I do believe that instilling law and order in your own life does pave a, a trajectory um, for your life. This is the reason why empirically those who are the most disciplined and consistent in their lives and are constantly evolving have way more success and get their way, quote unquote, more often than not in comparison to the antithesis of these individuals, which are lazy people. Um, however, despite this, this commonality, Chaos will always present itself uh, in, every, in everyone's lives. You can't avoid it. You can't run from it. It's always going to be there, um, which is why I believe one of the best ideologies to adopt for this is to become more mentally prepared and uh, adapt adaptable to the fact that life is fluctuating in nature and that inevitable travesties and uh, bad times come, whether you want to accept that or not. Yeah, so in layman's terms, for those who try to take control of their life, uh, their trajectory is usually better in comparison to those who do not. 
So pain always wins. Yeah. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I think with um, be, being things being preordained or predestined, it's it can't be like dismissed outright. I would say um, there are things in our universe that we don't completely understand. Um, and there's a lot of us who think that way as well. I'm not saying it's like validated whatsoever, but there has you to be. You guys giving me Neji vibes right now with the whole talk with him and Naruto. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so like, um, think about the time you're born. Like, we have this genetic code that brings us um, our genetic predisposition to be who we are today. Um, I yeah. genuinely think that genetics affect your personality. Um, and, and amongst a lot, a lot of things and uh you know it, it could even be like your height or something that affects like your confidence or whatever it may be and being born where you are um promises a level of influence from your uh, local demographic and all these things can be claimed as happenstance but i think people utilize their paths in life to um progress you know what i mean um you can you can really try to focus on either or but I think it's important to disassociate from those aspects altogether and just kind of like flow with the life that you've been blessed with. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. It, fate is something that is, it's belief driven. You know what I mean? Um, just Pain like religion. Still Pain still wins. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> yeah. I just, I just think people like, uh, you know, there's also things like karma. You know what I mean? I think a lot of us agree. That, that's, it, such a, that's a, such an intrinsic one right there. Karma. <laughs> It's like I don't. I, I genuinely believe if you're shitty in life, you're gonna get you know bad things coming to you. And that's like predestined. Like, like you know Seth. I mean? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> literally. The the definition of karma right there. Whether you Bill, believe in it or, or not. Or Bill Cosby. You know what I mean? It's going to happen, to you, brother. Yep. Um, and so there are things in life that can be you know controlled by some alternate power that I can't say to you folks, but um, I, I want to focus on it too much. Is what I'm trying to say. Hey. Um, Shinobi, yeah. uh, how do you, Matt? Have you ever played uh, Evil Within? Those games? I have not. <laughs> okay, so like, I, I won't like if you're ever gonna play, I won't spoil it or anything. But like, there's something in it to where like, basically, it's similar to the Matrix, to where like you you get put in like a machine and you're controlled in a way or whatever. Uh -huh. Um, and so it's like it kind of comes into the whole thing. Like, like, how would you feel though? Like, if you somehow, some way, found out that we were actually being controlled, like everything we're experiencing right now wasn't legit. And you actually woke up in the real world. Like, how would that make you feel? So I, I knew, I knew I'm being controlled. Yeah. Despite like me, up, like you woke up, or like you, like something, like you re realize, like the error in it, or something. You know, some type of bullshit. Well, know? see, that's that's the thing. If I knew, then I would yeah. not be. I would not have the power to disassociate, and so therefore, I would th more than likely be depressed because. Right, <laughs> because I'm not really in control of my life at that It'd be point. Fucked up. There's I mean, no, like, there's imagine. No, yeah, there's no question as to if I'm in control or if there's some balance, but between the two of them, you know. So right. yeah, I, I was think only asking be... that because this kind of, in a way, correlates with the whole thing you guys are talking about. You know, fate and destiny, you name it, and this life or how would everything was orchestrated. So yeah, I think that um, the the mystery and the curiosity that is. And that is created by that is what <clears throat> is basically what fuels uh the human mind i think if there was no mystery there would be no incentive to be productive um amen brother yes yeah, sir and essentially nihilism would overtake the the globe everyone would become nihilistic and no one would do shit and nothing would matter because we all know what what the answer to all things are um as much as people want the answer to all things ironically it would decentivize the the very uh purpose that everyone has so that's essentially what would happen um in an imperfect world at least so um <clears throat> dude this palo guy is something else bro yeah he's a fucking loser i don't know where these losers come from man yeah like come into the call on show say it say it there motherfucker Let's see if you could say it with your chest then but this hides <clears throat> he never will it was just, he'll hide behind his 10 alternate accounts um, as long as it's not that racist one again, man. Oh, dude, Jeez. those guys are fucking losers, like pathetic fucking weasels that do that shit. You just come on my shit to fucking say racist shit. You're fucking pathetic. Wait, what, what? What happened? There was a one stream where these like couple losers came in just to say oh, racist yeah, shit. Oh, they're dropping the hard R. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, yeah they just kept coming with alternate accounts, bro. It's like, yeah, like you guys are fucking pathetic world. losers. Yeah. 
Hey, I hope he gets karma for that shit, man. Yeah, yeah it's fucking pathetic. Uh, what side characters defeat? Oh, what characters defeat Fasto Lordy Ichigo? Um, top Ooh, tier. I love him. He's my favorite yeah, out of all. Top mm-hmm. tier characters like Yamamoto, Aizen. Aizen, um, yeah. Aizen yeah. would beat him, yeah. Iwak. Iwak. Uh, obviously as soul. weird as that is, like, you would think, like, Vastor Lord would actually stop, but no, like, no, Aizen would he's, win. He's not that powerful, <laughs> not in comparison to those guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, who else would defeat him? Probably someone like, uh, the Soul King, obviously. Um, oh, yeah, of course. Probably no, Kenpachi, about... full strength. Did you full guys strength. ever see the Hell movie with the Vastor Lord in that one? Isn't that one, like, way more stronger or something? I, I haven't yeah. seen any of the Bleach movies. I, mean, I, heard, I heard there's like another Vasha load form in that movie to where like it's more powerful and people think that could be what it gave a lot of people running for their money. But I don't know. Like I said, I'm not too into Bleach, so. Yeah. No. Yeah, Vasha Lorde is definitely overhyped. I mean, he did defeat uh, Second Resurrection Okiora, but. Okiora, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, those guys don't stack up to Aizen or Yamamoto, though, so. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Yeah, I want to say Urahara's Bankai, bro. Like, that's the Lord reminds dude. me of, like, the V2 transformation from Naruto. Yeah, basically. Ooh, and can't Pachi's Bankai, bro? Oh, Bruh. dude. Never seen it. I can't wait, dog. Goodness. Oh, man. Um, let's see. Any other questions? Now, if Vastor Lord was a thing, like, with current Ichigo, do you think that would be fucking up some shit? <laughs> Probably, but you know? it's hard to, to fathom that happening because he had control of his like his holification after that. But um, oh okay, yeah. gotcha. But if he did reach have some form like that now, it'd definitely be fucking broken. Um, very gotcha. very, very broken. Yeah. I just I always thought <laughs> that form was so like badass and cool. It was so cool, bro. <laughs> yeah. He's it sucks aesthetically that it so low, but it's yeah. it's cool. Aesthetically, it's very fucking cool. Yeah. He looks really yeah, sick. It's badass. That. Um, this yeah. question I've answered this before, but might as well do it again. Um, the current trajectory of the dating market. I always love answering this question. Um, dating. So this is what I would say. <clears throat> it's definitely traversing in a negative direction. Uh, men from 18 and on are catapulted into an extremely competitive cesspool where they all got to work their way up with the odds literally against them in almost all aspects. Uh, now, women, conversely, from 18 and on are catapulted into a huge pool of potential candidates for them to choose from, inevitably morphing them into what I would call delusionally self-entitled beings that have no incentive <laughs> to become truly good candidates as far as romantic relationships. I mean, why would they? If there's hundreds of dicks that want you, why would you even try to fucking improve yourself? You'd have no reason to, right? So... Yeah. This general trend, I think, will continue to progress and become more and more extreme. Most men will be ghosts in the dating marketplace, which is why only the top 20% of men currently deal with 80 to 90% of the women, um, which, again, results in most men being fucking ghosts yeah. and non-existent to these hoes. So, exactly. This, yeah. You're going to have to be top G. like like So, meaning if you're low or mid as a guy, unfortunately, guys, like it's just your fault. Yep. So, <laughs> this results in many single men and, ironically, many single older women when they realize that the top men have the leverage and not them. Um, they're so delusionally self-entitled that they think they can run a top G. But a top G is the one with the leverage. They're the one that's chased that's... after. And they're not even remotely comparable to a, you know, bottom of the barrel 10% man. And I mean that in terms of dating marketplace. I don't mean that they're like trash or anything, but it's night and day between the two. You can't, you can't push around a guy that's on that level. Um, that's not going to so happen. I will, I will they're, they're just never going to let, they're never going to let themselves be vulnerable enough or trust far enough to ever be put in a situation that most women can put men in. Exactly. That's what Jay's basically saying. Like, if, you know, and it's it's a sad reality at the end of the day because it's like you you always think like oh well if you're in a relationship with someone you both should be well at the end of the day like unfortunately that's it's just not as simple as that you know people have yeah. trust issues people you know it's sort of like we we hear things we see things all the time we name it so unfortunately like if you are a smart person whether if you're a girl or a guy whatever okay but mainly for the guys they are the ones that have the main reason to worry about um what's it called they're just not going to go that far they're not going to limit themselves they're going to have higher expectations they're going to have more control etc and to make sure they don't get put through the bullshit or be fucked over in any way yep so um, So i'll I'll ask you guys do you think humans by um you know just genetic nature are meant to be monogamous men no just in general men no definitely not what does that what does that mean again say that again this means so like they're supposed to be with like one partner like they're you know they're oh, like in nature oh, no. Like just, no no i don't no. think so men that goes against they think nature. Meant to be polygamous. 
Okay, yeah. Gotcha. And I also think that women aren't monogamous. They're more specifically hypergamous. By, by they, evidence, yeah, I would say no morally than yes, because that's like the yeah. the, the vendetta or like the but the atmosphere that we've built upon. Women or like you know. Yeah, women, whether they want to admit it or not, they go for the top, the top of the food chain that they could possibly reach. They're hypergamous. Yeah. Um, they bullshit that they like the nice guy. That any guy will be okay. Oh, that's bullshit. Hell nah. <laughs> they, they're they the the very rhetoric they speak uh, is literally contradicted by their actions shortly after. You know how many uh, friends or family I've known where like it's like the good the goody two shoe guy and doing all the right things and blah blah blah, and oh, the yeah. still leaves that guy to go be with a fucking abuser or piece of shit. You know what I mean? Well, because he's either like nice guy, either he so has like the either guy. he's like a, a high tier looks type of dude, but a shit person. You know? Yeah. Like. <laughs> Nice That's guys, how it is, bro. Yeah. Nice guys finish last, unfortunately, and um, yeah. <laughs> guys don't realize that until they get older. Um, unfortunately, yeah. women date up. They don't want an equal. They definitely don't want an inferior as far as tangible aspects like financials, no. um, your dominance, your masculinity. They don't They don't want an inferior. Um, as as no. harsh as that sounds, that's their nature. I don't think they're bad people for it. That's their nature. Bro, look at look at Will Smith's wife, bro. Yeah, she she dogs him like a fucking. Like, well, I mean, dogged she had him. Tupac, bro. You can't. You can't yeah, Tupac back. was. Yeah, you can't, you can't, Tupac. You know, Tupac, bro. Yeah, they Tupac was the man that. she really wanted, and Will Smith was <laughs> just a basic poor man substitute. Will Smith was the good guy. That's what we're basically. Will Smith <laughs> is a poor man substitute version of Tupac to Jada. To Jada, that's what he is. Which is why she dogged him on national television and told him, you know what? She dogged. She, she dogged the him and said, "You know what? I had an entanglement, aka she got her back blown yeah, out by she another man." On live television in, to his face. Like, she she, she had the audacity. Love the paraphrasing, bro. Yeah, she had the audacity, audacity to call it an entanglement when, in reality, it's her getting her back blown out by another male. That's what it was. She got her back blown out by a young rapper. <laughs> Agus Dalcino blew her back out. Yeah. Like, bro, bro, if I was ever so on live funny. television and yeah. my girl said, oh, by the way, I I cheated on you and I fucked this dude, blah, blah, because, you know, you're whatever this and this and that. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, you have to build yourself as a man to have the best odds with women. Um, I would say See, that's that... the shit that women do, though. That's the that's the crazy fucked up shit about it, though. I mean, like, yeah. I'm not saying men don't do it either or can't do something that's fucked up, whatever. I'm not going to be, you know what I mean? I'm not going to be like that. But majority-wise and percentage-wise, I don't know what it is, but women have these tendencies to really go to, like, some fucked up extremes and just do some shit. And it's like, why would you do that? Women are you know inherently, I mean? like, <laughs> genetically, they're inherently more uh, narcissistic and well, selfish because of their very biological makeup. They're made to be that way. They have to protect well, their... Well, they, inherent, they have this inherent beauty that, you know they are born with obviously and that in itself is a huge powerful commodity and you know unfortunately a lot of women do take that um for granted you know like yep with yeah. power with power becomes a lot of you know selfish nature when it comes yep. to that and that's what i feel like it's an evil vendetta too shinobi because remember when like back then women had like nothing no rights you know which is like tools you name it and like and then it got to a point where like you know they were getting more rights so they had a fight for it etc you know like rosa parks you name it etc etc so like eventually got to the point where like now things are kind of like you know equal in a sense i'm not saying it is but you know the whole notion of it or the atmosphere to where now they're like oh well since we had to go through all this and this and this and this and this like now we're gonna be like the top dogs or fucking or really exploit well, our, this uh, or you know what, what kind of that... give like some urgence to it you know yeah well, i mean what i'll say to that is you know our culture has definitely evolved in terms of being more liberal and just uh free yeah. with you know women and how they express themselves and, and rightfully so you know i mean think yeah. about like the the 50s you know what i mean how people dress and, and the yeah. customs that we adopt in america and now now today it, it's more you know like i can be whoever i want to be and it's accepted exactly. on many facets yeah someone said so, again mostly yeah. based info and a little bit of insult commentary you can expand on what you mean what's insult commentary i could probably tell you why it's not um what does incel mean it's like a virgin um the virgins are the ones out of the nice guys dude the ones that try to paint everything as peaches and cream those are the incels yeah it's like like the dudes that are holding uh, the door for the woman things yeah. like that unfortunately, et cetera, those et cetera. Are the incels, like the ones that are normally like the really good guys um unfortunately just percentage wise reality no wise worries, guys. like guys you, like, you're not gonna tell me like either you're just oblivious and won't pay attention but like even in high school these behaviors are fucking shown you know what i mean yeah. like to where you can be the goody two shoes you know maybe even have decent looks whatever then they see this other dude that's like 
either maybe has way better looks or or just like a bad guy you know like a, a bad boy or whatever or some type of shit and for some reason that's just an attraction that's that they, they're just drawn to i i don't know i don't know what to tell you but that's just how it goes no that's funny. you know yeah, the the truth is reality is harsh, man. Reality is harsh. It is, so it yeah. Might, this is what it is. It's it might come harsh. off harsh. It might come off harsh, but reality is harsh. Reality is, uh, I would say, what's the word I'm looking for? It's amoral. It's not moral. Reality is exactly. amoral. And that's the way the world works. Don't get yeah. this confused either. We're not saying it's impossible for you to somehow, <laughs> some way, get a bad bitch or this or that or whatever or have the happily ever after potentially. But when we're talking about statistics, percentage wise, et cetera, and majority, that is not the case at nope. all. Period. 50%. If you're low or mid, you're not getting any of that. Fifty percent of have marriages. To be a top G, yeah. Yeah. Fifty percent of marriages in a divorce. Eighty percent are initiated by women because of AKA yeah. irreconcilable differences, which AKA just means I'm not attracted to you. I want someone that's higher caliber. I want than you. entanglement. Yeah. yeah. I want entanglement. <laughs> um, and then thirty percent of men ages eighteen to thirty are fucking haven't had sex in a year and or are virgins. This is reality. Uh, uh, that Most is are ghosts. Right there. Most are ghosts. It's what it is. It is what it is. And that's just how it's going to be no matter what. That's just it seems like your friends are too bitter towards women. I'm, we're not bitter at all. We just acknowledge the reality of women. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the reality of women yeah, is... You have to be aware, man. To, women you know, are just instinctually nowadays. more selfish thoughts. in nature. And to be fair, men are more dogs in nature when it comes to sexual activity like, they just are like this is reality like for instance, yeah, there's for somebody sure. i know i'm not gonna uh, pick make criticize men too anything. Yeah. um but there's somebody i knew where like you know to this day he is a virgin okay and the main reason why is because you know like me my best bud we're over here doing our thing we're not having issues we're you know having girls whatever etc you know whatever we're doing our thing you name it and him he's trying so hard to figure it out like oh what do i need to do like i'm always struggling whatever blah blah and there's just multiple variables with it. It was like mainly due to his looks, okay? That was just wasn't there for expectation wise. It was due to his personality traits, how he was as well. Like there's certain things that women just prefer and prioritize on. It's just that fucking simple, you know? So no matter how good of a person you are or this or that, if the variables aren't there, unfortunately you're gonna be in a certain percentile or a certain range of what you will be allowed to be exposed to or be granted to. It's yeah, as simple as, as that. much as people don't want to admit you know? it, the more masculine, dominant, and successful man will usually win in the balance of probabilities. Yeah. And that's just the way it is. It's just the way it works. And that's yeah, what we're looking for. Yeah, in a sense, absolutely. That's just the way it works, whether we want to like that or not. We want to say it's cringe or not. We could call reality cringe all you want. <laughs> and, and it is but still reality. I, I feel, still I feel reality. Anger too. Yeah, but it's reality. But, you know, it is bullshit. I could see why you could be angry about it. I could see why you could say it's unfair. But once again, it's life reality. is unfair. It is yeah, what it is. Life is unfair. Women get into clubs for free. Fat women still get <laughs> still get tons of options. And guys Bro, gotta... like guys, once again, if, like if, we, we've said this so many times, like in other streams and name it, et cetera. But like there's so many examples out there. You have the sex Fat. industry. You have uh, female streamers. You have, like, there's so many things, OnlyFans, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, there's just so much stuff in comparison to men I mean, and so women where it's just it, not the same, you know? It's it's kind of part of humanity, though. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. It's exactly. Part of, one of our guilty pleasures. Yeah, like, it's enabled, yeah, too. It's if enabled, men had yeah. that level of power, then, you know, probably we would do the same shit. I mean, just, you know, exactly. Know, like, exactly. At least in exactly. general sense. Women just have it easier, man. They got it easier. They have that. It's a gift, bro. So, I mean, yeah. like, fuck They're it. They're born with their value. Out, and, Basically, yeah. what we're saying, guys, if me and Jay and Shinobi knew transformation jutsu, like could do some Konohama or Naruto shit and transform to a female, you best believe there'd be a lot of perks and benefits. That's just how it goes. If I could like show my, <laughs> if I could show my tits off for thousand dollars a month, I'd do it too. Shit, I don't give a fuck. A day, bro. Shit. Yeah. Honestly, I'd be on Twitch hour. with my tits out too. No, Jay, no Jay cap. Jay that jutsu real quick. Yeah. Dude, those streams would be banging, Jay. Yeah. So to me, make your money. You know, make your money. Yeah, you guys have get that bad. And, and, yeah. and, 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 and like so, obviously, in a moral sense, yeah, it could be unfair, wrong, whatever. But then again, when you really analyze, it's like, don't do you blame them? Like, yeah. would you would probably do it too? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, like definitely would be be easy, um, easy money. Um, <laughs> for real, bro. Yeah. But folks, any last questions you may have, feel free to ask. We'll go for about like five, ten more minutes. Um, we're almost at three hours, so go to stream. Make sure, oh, wow. by the way, hit the goddamn like button. Another like spike if it's possible here. You guys can do that. Hit the like button. Uh, spike the likes up. Gets us up in the algorithm. Gets more people's eyeballs on this. 
What is what they said? Hit know? the goddamn like button. Hit the goddamn like button. <laughs> and uh, that would definitely have more views though, which is great. You yeah, know what we I mean? appreciate so the views, the support, up. and it's okay to disagree. You know, you guys can disagree with our takes. You guys can let yeah, us know. Absolutely. You know, you no, know that guys. If you want to do your own homework, bro, look up interviews, look up YouTube channels, look up fucking Google this shit. You know, like we're not just saying shit to say. No, I'll shit. say this I mean, to be fair. We're saying the, things from experience and from from yeah. research alone. Uh, I'll say this know. to be fair. My takes on most things, I'm, no one's perfect. I usually go based off the empirical evidence. I don't just go based off my own emotion or my own perspective. Obviously, I wish every fucking you know dating uh, interaction ended in a perfect fairy tale fashion, but that's not reality. So yeah, be real with yourself on that yeah, yeah. undoubtedly i bro. wish every marriage ended perfectly and that fucking you know men and women lived 90 years together and died together but half mar- half of marriages never work out it's just the reality yeah. and, and that, that's the thing too guys you know we're gassing up the woman thing and, and all the unequity senses that they have compared to us but men also have things that they don't have too you know we don't we're not you know we haven't spoken upon that but there yeah. are things that men do have that we uh you know um have advantages with etc you know what i mean and can people to uh, prioritize on that's unfair yeah. for them as well men like, there's many things for both sides in modern you know? society men are just biologically the, you know like the, you know strength and athletics that's one example, mentality you know? wise a lot of men especially in the woke uh ideological left are just weak-minded man they're weak-minded they need to get their shit together i'm just being honest um yeah. they don't have that like dominant masculine aura that, that drive yeah, yeah, they don't have that drive there's p- pussies Pussies. Yeah, Unfortunately, society has just grown to this level of like you know mass consumption yeah. and just like uh, complacency because we're just given everything that we need. You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, so we don't really have to fight to do anything. So it just it prompts yeah. that level of behavior to begin with. You know. This is what I'll say to all the guys out there. No matter what side of the spectrum you are, just stand by your conviction, man. At least have some you know some dignity. Stand by. Yeah, your and don't give up. Yeah, like that's the thing. Like. I hope you guys aren't taking this to like a pure negative extent. Like we're not saying it's over for you, whatever this and that. No, like we're not saying that at all. Like don't give up, keep your head up, stick to your convictions. And I mean, do what you got to do, focus on you, focus on your happiness. You know, your mental health is important too. We're mm-hmm. just being, we're just keeping it real with you. That's all we're yeah, saying. I and try like, to if give we were in your shoes or something remotely. We'll be saying the same shit as well. Yeah. You know? Someone said, can you yeah, get acknowledge that the learning. red pill ideology has some detrimental and toxic side to it? And discard things to follow or is it perfect to follow it to the book text by text oh absolutely not no ideology is perfect the yeah, no, no. ideology is not perfect if i do want to critique it i would say this there is ne- negative connotations um at, at least among the more radical red pill advocates that paint yeah. women in a bad light i don't i just present what they really are i don't try to paint mm-hmm. them and insult them they just are what they are men are what they are Absolutely. reality is what it is it is what it is yeah it's, it's, it's for both sides too yeah. like it's not just for only women it's for both yeah. men, are men what they are women most are men are bitches are, you know? most men are fucking loser bitches that try to yeah. you know that are bitter towards women because they can't pull any that's your fucking fault it's not their fault that they don't want your loser fat ass <laughs> broke ass that's not their fault if they have a plethora but, of options you know what I mean? yeah, why would they want you, you know, they may not be quality ones yeah, but point, hey, they have the point option being that, made overall though point being made overall if you're a fat guy you ain't, you ain't getting laid yeah, if, if you're, you're fat, fat woman, broke, you can still get weak laid. even if you're, <laughs> you're a loser <laughs> yeah you're a fucking loser it's not her fault she don't want yeah, you that's not good luck well that's i'll just luck. say like in comparison to a woman and guy though like if a woman was fat, oh yeah yeah oh yeah fat laid, women get tons of options <laughs> go on yeah, tinder I, I remember for a guy if you are you're fucked <laughs> i've seen a i'm not gonna lie i saw a fat girl's tinder it had thousands of matches and she's fat oh lord i was like lord. bitch I get I get lucky if I get ten or twenty. Yeah, let's be real, Jay. Cause God, yeah. <laughs> I get lucky if I get twenty of them. You got thousands on your shit. Literally, if Jay was like fucking like ginormous, bro. Like this motherfucker wouldn't be getting shit. Hell like, no. A... Hell no. Be, <laughs> my shit would be. Bro, that's that's uh, funny. My that's shit's just, once again. That's just how it works between the two sexes. You know what I mean? Like that's women just want what they the want. Difference. You gotta accept it. What I and say. And the reason why that is the way it is is because guess what? A guy's mentality. I don't give a fuck. Pussy's pussy. You know what I mean? That's what they're either thinking or whatever the other case may be. I don't know. You know so. It's, that's just how it goes. That's his life. Yeah. So know? unfortunately, you have two options: just complain or adjust. That's all you got. Yeah. Yeah. So. Buckle up, boy. Don't kill the messenger. Just accept the message or continue to complain. It is what it is. And then not only that, another reality check too. Let's say you see a girl in front of you. She got the perfect body, blah blah, blah whatever you name it, etc. And you got another girl in front of you that's super overweight, whatever, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Who are you gonna pick? Be real with yourself. 
You know what I mean? Like, who are you going to pick? Exactly. Same, it's, it's, it's the same shit that applies with men as well. It's I don't, same, but just to a more extreme degree. <laughs> that's why I don't blame a guy for... I don't, you know? I, don't, I don't blame guys for choosing bad bitches over fat bitches. This is reality. Exactly. Yeah, yeah like, you really can't blame. Like, people like what they want. You know what I mean? As long as it's not, like, doing anything detrimental to anybody yeah, exactly. else. I mean... Damn, now, damn. one thing I will say, though, I will say it's this. It's part of nature as well. Okay, if, if let's say, like, you know, the girl, like, she's bad or whatever, more attractive, you know, physically-wise or whatever, but she has, like, a horrible fucking personality attitude whatever, doing some such red flag shit, guess what? She going to the streets, too. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. yeah. You gotta be well, smart. Yeah. Like, I'll, be, like, I'll be right not, back, we're fuck, not, We're guys. not advocating her. Yeah. I'll be right, I'll be right back, fuck. Keep going. I'll be right back. No, okay. you're not. Yeah. We're not advocating or fucking saying that, like, oh, like... I mean, only go with a bad bitch, even if they have, like, a bad person out of this and this and that. Like, no, hell no. Like, don't ever, ever settle yourself for that either way. You know what I mean? Otherwise, you're going to be having fucking problems in your life. But what we're saying, like, you know, majority-wise and what people normally choose, they're going to go with that aspect. And then there you go. And then the, the second thing that they even think of after would then be their personality or their traits or their behaviors. You know, we're not immediately thinking on that right away. We're just thinking on looks, you know what I mean? Or whether if we can get something out of it you know or sleep with the person or whatever you know that's just human nature so yeah and then for women you know they want to select the, the male that is same thing for women too <laughs> of high higher status or seems yeah. more dominant or whatever it may be i mean like well i mean that's that's more than fair to allow them to choose that so um all yeah. this un unneeded hatred is kind of being biased or salty no it's something Pimpin. because you can't get laid or something. You know this I mean? is so. the interesting aspect of uh, a pimpin though, because <laughs> Shinobi. Uh, yeah, my bad, uh, Shinobi. <laughs> what's I'm so used to calling you that for so long. I know you're good. Though. Um, what's it called? Like the what's really interesting with this though is like when it comes to uh, you know because we know how it is with girls. You know what I mean? Like we already talked about that just now, but when it comes to guys, this is actually statistically wise and everything. To where like most women can actually prefer dad bods than actually like full muscular athletic builds i don't know why but it's either like an equal like intrinsic value uh in like between picking or women actually prefer that more i don't know why that's more of a trend here. nowadays that's just that, like, that's the 